Hello. Here. Threatened, I felt unwelcome, and it was a death. And so then I went to my pastor and I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know. But I do have something that's just both. So I've always had a lot of things happen to me all my life. So I'm going to. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're here. We missed you. I, I think that's safe to say we missed you. Uh, welcome to the Calls from Beyond show. I am your host, Austin Alvarez, joined by our amazing co-host, Miss Noah, the Black Cauldron. Hey, y'all. Hey. How's your week been? I know you just you just moved and you just got initiated. I did. My week was beautiful. Again, shout out to my patrons. My patrons and my YouTube subscribers, y'all are amazing. My bad. He's like... And not the mic. <laughs> shout out to my patrons, okay? Um, shout out to my subscribers here on YouTube. You guys made the the process just so seamless for my initiation. But yeah, I I had a beautiful week. It was I got dragged. Did you get the shit smacked out of you with a yeah, pigeon? Yeah, man. I got <laughs> beat up with pigeons and all that good stuff. So I felt a lot lighter, but no one tells you how um how heavy initiation is and after heavy how so like like just like spiritually or mentally spiritually okay. mentally so what is that like for somebody who doesn't know spiritually or like what they're like what spiritually means because they can yeah. just be like what like my my faith yeah no it's like so i had my initiation last saturday and i'm like okay this is beautiful everything sunshine lollipops and it's like that night i just got smacked with a range of emotions my ancestors mm. was on my neck my new Arishas, like, you know, just getting acclimated and really being like, yo, I really just did this shit. I say amen because it's hard. It, it's just, it's a hard feeling. And if you've ever been through initiation of a close practice, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, yeah, I mean, and you were Saturday, we were, we were texting because we're, you know, we're always trying to figure out back end mm -hmm. stuff and make sure stuff's working and not working. Mm -hmm. And so I go, Hey, you never told me how initiation went. And yeah. like, even then, you still were like, It was good. And yeah. I was like, That was it? <laughs> we had all this, we had all this prep time. Yeah. And like the, the hype on last Friday. And you were like, yes. Yeah, it's cool. Well, it's right. Yeah, because there's certain things that I can share and there's certain things that I can't. I did share a lot of the process with my patrons because I felt like this was a journey that I took with them in specific. Yeah. Um, with creating the platform specifically just to help with the cost of initiations. Right. Um, so I did share a little bit with that. And even that I had to be careful of certain things. So, um, cause yeah. is, there, is there certain things you're not allowed to share? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's certain. So things go ahead and share it now. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead certain, on the show. It's certain stuff. Like, of course me, and you always, um, laugh about the pigeon thing. Like, cause yeah. I told you, like I did a cleanse. It's just, it's, just, it's, <laughs> it's bizarre not to be tongue in cheek, yeah, but it's just kind of funny. It is. Yes. Like, it's very bizarre. Bizarre like, could you imagine somebody know. like George being Cuban and just somebody smacking the fuck out of him? With a, yes, with I a can pigeon? actually because he, my 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 padrino is Cuban, so you could imagine. Have you ever heard of? Yeah, okay. yeah, and I can I the um the visualization of like a person um who were they wearing face paint? Can no. you describe how they looked? They look like you. Golly. <laughs> no. Handsome? So, yeah. <laughs> listen, my Padrino, he's a handsome, middle-aged man, and um, he wears all white. 
and I had to wear all white. And um, he has his head covering. My children were there. My husband was there. We all got cleansed. You were there? Unfortunately. <laughs> Unfortunately. I got hit. In the <laughs> we wow. all got cleansed with the pigeon. So it's like, it's a beautiful, just, it was, I think, a little um, different for my kids. Because even though I am spiritual and they know mommy is a spiritualist, I let them, I want them to be able to choose their own path. So yeah. I don't really expose them to the things that, you know, y'all know what I'm saying if you have kids. But um, my little one, he loved the pigeon. Uh, <laughs> Ironically or just because it was a bird? I don't know. He, my Padrino was laughing at him like, you don't, you're not fearful of anything. Like, oh, you're, yeah, yeah he loved it. So um, it was just a very beautiful day and, and peaceful. It's just that, that night. It's like I had just acquired a new set of spirit guides, and right. they was on my head, baby. So it took me a couple of days to kind of adjust. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm super excited for you. I mean, like, I don't you. know much about it, and it's not something that like I would probably ever go through. But mm -hmm. like, just hearing how excited you are about it makes me excited yes, for it. I um, and I know here and everybody else was like, super excited for you. I mean, yes, because and this is the thing, my followers. A lot of them are very familiar with African traditional religion. So they were super stoked. I'm still getting congratulatory cash apps and all that good Wonderful. stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this was so random. But I appreciate everybody that, you know, rooted for me. And I'm just now putting on TikTok a couple of days ago. Hey, I, I did a thing last week because it was just that sacred and TikTok yeah. sometimes a little ghetto. So <laughs> I love my TikTok family, but it's not my TikTok family. It's just the app that yeah, sometimes, you know. Yeah. Those are the yeah. bot farms. Don't don't. I always do this with myself, too. That's <laughs> Russian and Chinese uh, propaganda. And as what? soon as you get it through your head, you're like, all right. Hey, yeah. Hey. And but, you know, and I usually They're do. They're spending good money on those. Yeah. Bots. They I, are. I pissed some people off with my last video on TikTok about mermaids. Oh my god! I commented on it on your YouTube video. I commented <laughs> Did you? earlier today. Yeah, I, went, I stopped, mermaids. Checking, I <laughs> stopped checking all the messages on that video on here and on um, YouTube because I'm like, or on YouTube and on TikTok because I'm like, y'all didn't lost y'all damn minds. You want to talk about losing their damn minds? I have. I'm starting a new thing, and you know I love my fans, but mm -hmm. sometimes they are bizarre. Mm -hmm. So this one, this guy named Norman. I'm going to leave it at that. Said, <laughs> crap, run, dude. And then the next message was, I'm honest, man. We'll say, I'm scared of ghost and Bigfoot stuff, but exciting at the same time. Kind of like you're about to fight a bully at the same time. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> what does that have to do? Like, I appreciate you showing support, messaging me, and reaching out, but, like, I, I don't know yeah. what that means. Like, I don't know what that means. And that's, like, 90% of the messages I get, too. Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it's just... The internet's a weird place. People do things and they get Twitter fingers and they get brave and they forget that I am incense and tarot cards and love and light, but I'm also a bottle of Hennessy and a pack of Newports. So I hey, just need you everybody. Can be two sided. Okay? There's the, that's the duality of being spiritual. I'm still human. So if you say something, I'm going to respond back to you. And my team, my spirit team, like, girl, if you don't just, it's okay. Just let them. So I stopped checking the messages. That's why I didn't see yours or the comments. Yeah, yeah. I uh, sometimes the comments are funny. Sometimes, like I, you know, I'm not gonna feed into the haters. Sometimes it's funny. Like they'll go like, "You guys need to stop." They go, "No, you." <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> okay. Like I, 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 this one's my favorite because it was about the um, <clears throat> it was about um, like the Appalachian yes area, and I said like, like literally speaking, it is a poor region of yes. the United States. Like there's no doubting that, right? And somebody, like, this dude was like, this guy looks like a jar of mayonnaise. I was like, that is just amazing. That's amazing, yeah. That's the best one No, my favorite comment that I got was, um, how can you tell Zimbabwe people about their history when you don't even know your own? And I'm like, well, shit, duh, I was stolen. I, I would hope that, you know, y'all would put me up on game. And they was loud and wrong. So it just comes down to, y'all, they just. When you go, I am from Zimbabwe. Yeah, I'm like, bro, it ain't even that deep. But you got it, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, so here's the thing. Thankfully, I've matured as a person. <laughs> Six years ago, I would have been arguing yes, with people. Now yeah. I'm like, hey, yeah. algorithm, let's right, go. And right. I don't like them. I like that's, every comment. That's not maturing, though. That's just you playing your card. You're playing 
while everybody else is playing chess, you're playing Baccarat. Because <laughs> go ahead, argue, please. Oh my God. You met Trey. He's the, he's the other editor in the yeah. back. This kid, okay, oh my God, plays 5D chess with multiverse time travel. That, I'm not what kidding. That's what it's called. So what you're playing I... 5D chess, but it has like different alternate timeline chess boards. And like the game is so obscure, he's the only person playing it. The player base is one, and it's him. That's what, what I'm playing right now. I'm playing 5D oh, chess okay. 5D with time, chess. multiverse time. Yeah, I let, like, I let them just go on there and, and talk shit at me in their language, their native tongue. I yep. can't even defend myself. I'm tired of bothering Google Translate. Y'all can have it, and I'm about to make another video about y'all country because I still love y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I still love y'all. So, um, oh, before I start, because I think my son, he should be watching. Happy birthday to my flesh. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. How old is he? To, he'll be, he's eight. Eight? Yes. And I'm is hoping that the one I met last, last yes, week? Oh. He came in last week, happy as y'all can see. We have Maxie here in the studio. Hey. She has, she's <laughs> notorious already. Like, I already knew who you were when you, I was like, oh, okay. Yes. It's that's, gonna be good. It's my baby girl. I gave her a shout out and I think everybody was confused last week. That is my daughter. She's eleven. And that's <laughs> my little sunshine. So um yes. happy birthday, Grace and baby. Happy birthday. Um, oh yeah, no. I forgot to hit this. Hey, we gotta uh we gotta Yes. Yes. <laughs> Birthday clap. A birthday The clap. sound effect board will get more intricate as the week's going. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're gonna I, build it. I want more than a clap. Yeah, yeah. More than a clap, more than a grandfather clap. Ooh, I, make it easy on us. If you can comment what sound effects. Yes. Tell us what sound effects we should out. be adding. That would make our job Help easy. Oh, hell no. Oh. Yeah, I love it. Right. <laughs> so, I love a good sound effect. Thank you. To, uh, let me just shout out yep. Yasmin Gomez for subscribing. I believe she subscribed, but thank you so much. I appreciate you. Love you. Damn so man. we already have some super chats rolling in. So mm -hmm. if this is your first time catching the live stream, what we do here is is this is the Calls from Beyond call-in show presented to you by Bizarre Junkies and the Black Cauldron. So what this is, is your guys' turn to tell us your stories. We spend countless hours talking about stories or having people on and asking them their stories. This is a chance for you to call in and tell us your stories. So this number right down here, you can call for free. You don't have to pay anything to call in. When you call in, we're going to give you three minutes. And the reason why we're going to give you three minutes is because there's so many of you that we can hardly ever get to all of them. Mm -hmm. And George is putting a timer on me, so i got to hurry this up. <laughs> um, so, But if you would like to skip the line, you can do so by super chatting to either the Black Cauldron or to the Bizarre Junkies channel. For $5, you get three minutes and you get to skip the line. For $10, you get five minutes and you get to skip the line. Mm-hmm. But you do not have to pay to call in. I want to make that yes. very clear. Yes. So there are a couple of rules. One, this is an 18 and up stream. This is a mature stream. If you're watching, please get parental discretion because yes. I don't want your mom yelling at me. <laughs> um, because I will just laugh at them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's what I, I do, listen, okay? I was a little weary about even letting um, yeah, I was, uh, Max in here. I was like, mm, but... She's the creepiest person I know, so I think she'll be fine. Yes. Right I ahead. scare her too. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so some other rules are: please be respectful of the time. Um, we just found out recently that you guys can't quite hear um, on the phone. You can't hear the sound effects. So what I'm going to try to do now is try to give you like a minute. I'll tell you, hey, you got a minute left, or hey, you got 30 seconds left. Well, not trying to be as intrusive as possible because mm -hmm. you are telling your story, and I want to be respectful of that. But um, we do have to be a little bit harsher on the cutoffs just because. There have been, and I get it. It's exciting. You want to call yeah. in, and it's fun. And we, we, if we could, we would let you all call in forever. Um, but we have to, we have to kind of keep the show mm -hmm. going. Um, also, please be respectful. Yeah, uh, like we're not going to censor you, but like, don't be coming in here and spewing. Right. Like, don't be coming in here cussing us out. Yeah, <laughs> please, George. <laughs> George will. The Cuban ban hammer is for real. Yeah. Yeah. No, seriously, guys. Be this, nice. <laughs> I will. I will cut it. It will not be nice. I don't think we got any mean calls. We've gotten one. We've gotten one that was like a jokester, but that was... Oh, he that was, was like the yo, yo. Which is fine. I mean, <laughs> that's what you want to do with your call. Okay. Right. Um, but so we're going to go ahead and get it started. George, off the top of your head, how many callers do we have in? I know we have a super chat we got to get to first. We got mm -hmm. seven, but right now is a good time to get in. I'm remembering numbers yes. like never before, literally. Uh, but we did have a super chat from... Yeah. from oh. Thank you. We got Boom. one. Yo, that was a blast from the past yes. of a sound effect. Yes, it was. Four, yes. two, three, eight will be our first caller. Thank you for super chatting. I'm admitting you in the room now. Star six to unmute yourself once you get in the room. Yes. 
four two three eight FMA. Let's start off the night right. Caller, you are in the room. Thanks for the super chat. Hello, how you how you guys doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Hey. Just gotta get ready. Are you nervous? I'm not nervous today because I was nervous last time. Okay, See, okay. All right. See, she got it out the way. She got the confidence. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she got it. So today's story, I was just, it was about a dream I had that I remembered that I had when you had posted your video that y'all was talking about about mermaids, you mm-hmm. know? <laughs> so I, a couple <laughs> a couple months ago, I had a dream and it was like, uh, not like an alien invasion, but like me and my brother and my mom were in the store and it was like a whole bunch of like people like dressed up as maybe like secret agents in the dream. Mm-hmm. And I was by the exit door, like, you know, the emergency exit doors mm-hmm. um, of the store, whatever store we was at. So I was like going to stay with my family, but my mom was like, no, go ahead and go. Like, you know, if you can get out, get out. So mm-hmm. I started running into like a more rural area. It was like a lake, like a body of water. Mm-hmm. Um and like once I seen the body of water, it was like a young girl, maybe like thirteen, and I could only see like her stomach up. And she, I just was like looking at her, like what the hell, you know, right. <laughs> what <are> you doing <laughs> in the water. <laughs> I'm like, who is this little girl? Like, and she looked at had like blue hair, and she was pretty mm-hmm. uh, and dark skin. So, uh, some like she just like motioned me over because you know they were also outside, you know, just like trying to get everybody locked down. So I ended up going into the water with her and it's like I could breathe under the water. So mm-hmm. it was crazy when you had said that sometimes yep. people breathe underwater like when they come in contact with mermaids. Yep. And then it's just like my dream stopped. But all I remember is like it was so pretty under there. It was so peaceful under there. Like mm-hmm. I didn't feel scared anymore. And I was just like, and then it ended, so I'm like, maybe I was getting too close to something. Mm-hmm. I've had those I wanted type of to dreams. stay in the dream. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted to stay in the dream. So, and then it was another dream that I had, like when I was, I said I was in kindergarten, and I feel like that I astro projected because it was like I was flying around my neighborhood. And then when I came back home, it was like morning, and then I won't remember just waking up after I got back home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it seemed so Minute real. Left. Like that I was, yeah, like that I went to sleep that night. It's like I woke up in my room and then I went outside, but I didn't go outside through a door. It's like my my spirit just floated from, like through the wall yeah. and yeah. I was flying through my neighborhood. And then it would just seem so real because it was like most dreams, it could be at night and then it's day in the dream. And then some dreams, it's like, you may have took a nap and it's like dark mm-hmm. in the dream, but it was like the the way that a regular, you know, works. Like how if I was to wake up in real life. Yeah, that's how, it, listen, kids astro project. And and it's th- like I didn't have no fear. It was like I no. was just my little kid stuff. So. Right. <laughs> listen, nowadays if I'm astro projecting, because it always happens on accident, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm, why? I lay back down, I'd be fighting with myself to get back in my body. <laughs> But like children, they yeah. don't care. That is an adventure to them. Well, thank you for I calling. Yes. Us in. <laughs> thank you so much for your call today. <laughs> thank you so much. All right. Thank you guys. All right. You know Yeah, I astral true. project all the time. <laughs> what? No, listen. <laughs> some people are I like, can't do that. Very I eat Taco much... Bell all the time, but I can't <laughs> astral project. I love Taco Bell. I think it's just me that Likes it though. I don't think anybody I love it. What do you mean? I single handedly <laughs> Okay, all right, all right. Remember when the Quesarito came out? <laughs> yes. So I single handedly kept my Taco Bell in business senior year of high school because I was there almost every day with Quesaritos. <laughs> oh, well, I'm old. So they used to have a taquito mm-hmm. and it was like a steak. It was really a steak quesadilla rolled up into a <laughs> and then grilled. You call anything, anything. Um, but now my favorite um, dish from, from Taco Bell is a Mexican pizza, vegetarian, extra cheese, and tomatoes. So good. Okay. Yeah. Taco oh, Bell's got so many good combinations. I think I'm yeah. going there tonight. No, I'm, I'm gonna no, I'm going to the real Mexican. Where are you going? Yeah, I want some taco tacos. Oh, like yeah, like especially now that like they're allowed to sell on street corners. Yes, here. like I want it 
yeah, I might go down to Fremont just to get it. That's how. There's one by my house that is super good. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's a little pricey, but it's kind of worth it. I think you live by me. I'm in North Town. Oh, no. Yeah. When did we start talking about taco? I'm because sorry, we're, we're I'm hungry. Taco, we're getting Taco Bell. <laughs> no, but ser- in, in all actuality, kids, they have no fear. Yeah. They have no fear. So when she said, and then I had a dream like that too, like um, being a, a swimming underwater and I could breathe. And I was aware that I was asleep. I'm like, how are you doing this, girl? Like, how are you um, aware that you know you're swimming and that you're not supposed to be swimming this long without coming up for... Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. George, you ever astral project? Uh, n- maybe. Maybe, like, once. But I I was heavily under the influence of, like, cough medicine. Okay. Oh, so yeah. you saw the hat man. Yeah. No. Which is what Franny's doing right now. Franny's about things. to see the hat man tonight with <laughs> how he's feeling. I astro projected, like, once. And it was so scary because it was, like, one eye I was laying in my bed. And the second eye, I was going out my room. And then, like, when I got back in my body, I couldn't, like, move. And then yeah. it was, like, sleep paralysis. And then someone was like at the edge of my bed, like they sat down and told me to go to back to bed. I was like, oh, no, "Excuse see, me, do y'all see why I say like I got jumped into spirituality this <laughs> one? I'm so glad that veil is a little bit stronger than what it was because, but yes, did, now that super chat that you just did with mm-hmm. that that was for mine's or yours? That was yours. Oh, okay, just making sure we got to her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I, I wanted to start off with that, yep. and now. Oh, so this is... before you start, Chytrell, yes. uh, your girl, Chytrell. <laughs> your George, girl. <laughs> yeah. Said, uh, y'all, I learned about the cinnamon balls at Taco Bell today. The Cinnabon balls. You just, oh, they had those. Oh, my God. You get the breakfast crunch wrap, and yes. then you get two of them with it. Yes. I just hey, tasted yo, them for pause. the first time for like, um, like last week or whatever the case is. We just went. And oh my gosh, I said, oh, I can't come here. I'm trying to lose like 30 pounds. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can't come back here because I want a whole eight pack to myself. They don't have them in an eight pack. <laughs> they have, I it, pay. It's a 12? It's a 12 pack. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. How do we know? See? Because See, Trey in the back. They do, they do two <laughs> and then they're like 12. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. You're not going to have three. No, if you, you can. If, you're, if you want more, you're going to have I 12. I said, they've had these delicious beautiful golden brown how long have you been years. here a few years i've never had it and i had their cinnamon cinnamon uh, hot coffee too oh, see wow. I, i'm too i'm too picky with my coffee that i just can't like because yeah. they're like how much creamer i'm like give me like 75 percent creamer 25 yes. percent coffee. <laughs> like don't just give me coffee with like and they're like eh, yeah. creamer yeah and they're like no dude come yeah. on all right george who we got next <laughs> oh no <laughs> Last four digits, one, three, seven, five, one, three, seven, five. That felt really bingo-esque right there. It did. Yeah. Uh, one, three, seven, five. Mr. Fresh says Taco Bell sucks. I don't know if he's allowed in the <laughs> studio agree. anymore. I agree. It's only the bean burritos. Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> what? It's only the bean burritos. One, three, I seven, five. Are we going to order pizza while we're here? Well. <laughs> Star six to unmute yourself. Caller, Happy you are in the room. Welcome. Hello. Oh, hello. Yes. Hi. Hi, how are you guys? I'm good. good. How are you? I was kind of confused because my uh, I'm watching on the computer too, so it's a little bit behind. Yep. Yes, yes, it's a delay, and people don't know that it's like thirty seconds. Yep. Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, hi Noah, hi Bizarre Junkie, hey, hello babe. Max, hello. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Jessica, and I'm, I am very nervous, but don't be <laughs> all the nervous people coming. always have the best stories, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so uh i'm gonna tell a story about a dream i had okay and uh it starts with well my mom passed in 2017 okay and um so it was just me and my brother he is he was 15 years older than me so he got a lot more time with her and he was very much a mom's boy so of it course. hit him really hard yeah yeah i mean it hit me hard as well but you know it hit him very right. hard and so um we were dealing with that we were kind of going through life and getting used to it but uh last year i randomly had a dream my mom came to me and it was like so clear it's very realistic so we were in uh my living room at home Mm -hmm. and she was like i just want you to know i called my brother twinkie so i'm just gonna call him twinkie she was like i want you to know um 
Twinkie's going to pass away. And I wanted to tell you first. And I was like, oh, oh my God, God, what? What? Oh. And I was like, eh, eh, I think that's just a dream. I'm going to ignore that. Mm-hmm. So I probably shouldn't have. But mm-hmm. I had the dream on Friday. And then Sunday he passed. Oh, my wow. goodness. And you know what? God, God bless you. Because at the end of the day, your mom literally came in just to give you a heads up. Hey, I don't want you to feel like this is your side blinded or anything like that about this. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, it's like even in the dream, I like I remember I like fell to my knees. I was crying. I was like mm-hmm. doing all this crazy stuff. And then I was like, well, maybe she wanted me to do all that early <laughs> just to get out of the way. Yeah. And then it wouldn't be so, so bad. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's came crazy. to tell me. And you know what? We've had a couple of stories on the show yeah. where people have been warned by ancestors that someone else was gonna pass. And um mm-hmm. it's just crazy the way Yeah. Who is saying that this is fake? Like I don't know. The amount of stories that are the same. Yeah. Like not everybody's faking yeah, the not everybody in line. Yeah, this this yeah. woman isn't in a group chat with 300 other people and like we're all going to get the same story right yeah yeah, yeah. right right okay, yeah. that's crazy thank you so much for sharing yes. like that was amazing see it's always the ones that say oh, they're nervous sure. girl <laughs> be having that heat i have another one but i, I think oh, i'm going to save it no, for another call in, are you so. sure because i know i kind of cut you off so are you sure we can give you a couple more seconds a minute or two um sure it's, it's pretty short um so it's it's been a crazy few years. My grandma died the same year as my mom. Mm-hmm. So um, I also had a dream after she died. She came to me and she said something like, like I'm a guardian angel now, but I, I tried to save a little girl, but I had just passed too recently. So I didn't have enough power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something like that. And yeah. I was like, huh. Yeah. I don't really know about guardian angels and things like that. So. Yeah, some people, whenever they pass on, they are, they're new spirits. So they are learning the lay of the land and yeah. they're not as powerful as a spirit that has been gone for, say, 10 years. So if she was telling you, like, yeah. I tried to save someone, because usually ancestors, spirit guides, they're, they're there for a reason to do those kind of things, yeah. keep you from danger, guide you. Um, more than likely, she was just kind of confiding in you, like, I didn't have the juice yet. Like, I couldn't do it. I'm not yeah, there yet. Yeah, and I just remember she, it was like she felt so bad. But I yeah. was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Your ancestors are around you, girl. You are very blessed. I think so. And I love them. I miss them. I kind of talk to them all the time in my head. Yeah. Listen, say it out loud. They can hear you. <laughs> but thank you so oh, much. Yes, okay. Thank you for the call. I, it's always the nervous ones. Yes. Keep that in mind. <laughs> yes. Thank, thank you. you. Listen, I talk to my ancestors all the time. <laughs> George, they're dragging you in the chat. By the way. Not the bell. <laughs> Trying things out. Trying things mm-hmm. out. Keep commenting, please. But anyways, you were going. Yeah, please. no. I, I mean, you are allowed to talk to your ancestors just like I talk to you or... George or Maxie or whatever. It just comes down to a fact like they're the same people in the spiritual world as they are here, you know, on earth. So just a different plane. Just a different plane, exactly. Yeah, I talked to ancestors like a few times yeah. before. An encounter that really stuck with me before is when like I saw when my like what my deceased grandma like oh, run yeah. across the hall. She looked like she was yeah. wearing medieval time, like kind of like a. She bo- was playing. She looks like she little. Went, she bo- went time no, traveling. Remember, she, like, she, she <laughs> loves to dress up, and I'm like, "What are you talking?" And then she's like the type back then. It was just so casual. Yeah, Mama Is Rose. This the one that yeah. with the, when you first came on told the story. Yes. Of, oh, that's my that's my grandpa. Yes. He yeah. likes apple juice. It was yeah. like he likes apple juice. He ran into a tree. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm telling y'all, oh, I need no. to tell my experiences on oh, here because, no. baby, when I tell well, you, you, did you did tell us? Your I experiences. did, but never in a live setting like this. No, but it was, I it was did. on the pre-record. Yeah, but um, ancestors, you know, I was having a problem with a demon. I'm not scared to say that word anymore. <laughs> not even not <laughs> She's scared. She's standing on business. I'm standing on business. Cause I wish they would, but um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's that's a part of it. I was having an issue with a, a couple of low vibrational entities because of the house I was living in. And she was suffering very, very much. My my baby girl had us all up um, for weeks. 
almost yeah. a month. It's scary. And it scared everybody. And one morning she's like, oh, yeah, Mama Rose likes to play dress up. And I'm like, what are you talking Who about? Who told you that? Right. <laughs> because she was a very ornate woman. It was and because mm-hmm. I um, got mad at my brother and... I literally went in his room, texted my mom and dad, rage texting, just, uh, Yeah. And then the door slowly opens, and she just comes across yeah. the hall, stops, looks at me, realizes I can see her, and I'm like, hi? <laughs> and then she runs away. Yeah. And then I get up, go down the hall, and she's not there anymore. Like, she's not even in, in the office. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm sleeping with all the lights on. <laughs> One thing to venerate, but to see yeah, that is different. Yeah, that thing, like, scared me, like, the most thing. Like, I was like, what if that happens again? But I can't sleep you, by won't. myself. I cannot sleep by you, myself. It won't. And I slept, like, with my brothers, like, for, the like, the rest of the time we lived there. That's how scared yeah. I was. And I had a whole room, a whole room, and I never used it no. after that experience. I, I don't know if I would use the room. No, <laughs> it was, I had a fa- five bedroom house. I said, "Oh no, no, no!" Literally, I was ways. terrified. I was covering the windows with um, Smith's bags. Yeah, Smith bla- bags. Literally, there was like a rip on the window, um, like the blinds, and I put a bag between it because I was so scared. Yeah. It was miserable. If you've ever had a child that's been haunted or being haunted or tormented by something. Just like, what, what can you realistically do? There's nothing do? that mm-hmm. you can do except for move out and cleanse your baby. Like, unless you are, you know, somebody that can get rid of it. But whatever it was in, that house was built on top of it. It was a brand new house. So, but I know we have a lot of yes. callers in queue. Sorry. Yes. It's my mama. She always calls me. <laughs> she said, what you telling them? Right. It's my mama. Two six eight six two six eight six at counter number star. seventeen. <laughs> star six. I kind of sound like the when you're self checkout. Yeah, uh, and it's like swipe your. Please, please place the bag or the item in the bag, and I'm like, it's been in the bag for thirty seconds now, and it's like, please place item in the bag. Swipe our cash to pay. <laughs> Follow instructions on pin pad. <laughs> Two six eight six star six to unmute yourself. Two six eight six star six to unmute. I know there's a little bit of a delay. Mm -hmm. Yes. We got the callers filing in. Star six. To unmute yourself. Two six eight six. Tell the caller comes in. Here we go. All right. Okay. Two six eight <laughs> six. Star six to unmute yourself. Alrighty, I'm gonna yeah. move on here to five nine two. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, in the nick of time, caller, you're in the room. Hey, girl. Hey. Hi. Hi, Noah. Hi, Wizard Junkie. Hello. Hey. Oh, sorry. It's just a little delayed. Yes, it's like thirty seconds. Um, if you could please mute your TV so we can hear you. Can you hear us? Okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, there we go. Um, so hi, how's everyone? Good, how, how are, are you? you? I'm good, thanks. Um, so I just want to stay anonymous for this one, but sure. I do have a few questions just about a certain situation that I'm going through right now. I do have a current boyfriend who is just entwined with a lot of different things that I don't even know where to start, but um, I'll basically just get into it. But he he told me a while back that he had he had been homeless for a little bit, and he told me that he was in the park, and I guess some he had other past experiences with uh, I don't know the right words for it, but he's dabbled around in certain things Mm -hmm. and he told me that he was in the park and I guess something visited him and 
basically fast forward he just he ended up taking i guess he, he took something and he ended up passing out and he he saw something that night at the park and he told me that it's been following him ever since mm. and personally i just don't know what to do because i have been raised very like my mom she's very heavy in prayer yeah and um but even a couple times when i was like around him in his house there was one night where he fully like explained all of it to me and as we were there like he kept looking up like into the corner of his room and i was like hey like what's going on what do you see Mm -hmm. and he basically pulled out his or i pulled out my phone and i was like just just draw this like whatever you see and he drew out some some like figure you couldn't even see what it was but he told me that he thought it was like a gin or something following him that's been attached to him ever since this the, night at the, the park. Night the park. One minute mm-hmm. left. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, I was just like you know you have one minute left on the on the call. Um, and then he told me, okay, so recently he had some like legal troubles. So after all of this happened, he basically went to court and magically i don't know how but he told he didn't like he kept everything very secret in terms of like his legal stuff like i i knew some of his charges but he told me he went into court and basically it was like around 13 different charges the judge just let him go like in the snap of a finger like everything was just erased Mm -hmm. and I don't know, like, I I now, the other night, I had, like, sleep, sleep paralysis, and I haven't had sleep paralysis in a long time, yeah. and I don't know, I, I kind of mentioned a little bit about it to my mom, because, like I said, she's very deep in prayer, and I felt very, like, uneasy about the whole situation, but my question is just, like, how do I go about that? Do I seek, like, maybe seeing someone, like, doing a reading, or, like, how yeah. do I help him? I would definitely say divination. Too far. Yeah. And then the fact that you're kind of having sleep paralysis, he's going through all of this weird stuff. Um, he needs to cleanse. And even though the faith may be different than what you believe in your mom, or even with like just being a spiritualist like me, um, prayer still is heard by the most high. So I would definitely cleanse. I mean, personally, if I'm not married to you and I'm not in a situation that's super serious, we don't have kids, I'm probably going to break up with you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that smoke. Right. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's not just that simple. So I would say definitely seek divination, get a reading of some sort. Also, uh, cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. And make sure you're cleansing yourself, him, your house, whenever he leaves. Um, because I definitely, yeah. I definitely tried speaking to him about that, but... It's like, I remember even when he was telling me that night, he looked at me weirdly and he was like, are you praying right now? And I wasn't talking. I wasn't anything. I was just listening to him. And he's just like, are you praying? And I was, I was praying like really hard in my head. And he's just like, yeah, that's kind of irritating me. Oh no. And it, mm, it, wow. <laughs> uh, no, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Um, you have to decide, choose you. Put yourself first because that's weird that he knew that you were praying in your head and instead of irritating him. Listen. Yeah. But thank you so much for yes, calling Yes, thank in. you for the call. Now, Miss uh, Black Cauldron, where can people book with you if they wanted to um, book? The link is all over in my bio of uh, every video. <laughs> you know, um, I think it's even in this one. It is so it's in the description. If you're on if you're TikTok, you can go to my link tree. Um, it's there, and we can have a chat because divination is it needs to be sought out by a lot of people for different situations. But first thing I thought whenever we just had that call is that she needs to break up with him. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't married, uh. Uh-uh. Um, but no, I love him. Right, but I <laughs> listen. 
What love got to do with it? When I heard <laughs> that he was getting irritated from her praying in her head, I was like, security! <laughs> security! <laughs> no, like Shai Troll just said in the chat, oh, nah, security. Mm, mm, mm. So we have another super chat uh, from yes. Miss Janice. Yeah. The hockey, okay. Okay, thank George, you, Janice. Hey, George is going to, hey, something's going to stick, okay? Uh, Testing them out. Number 2506, George. 2506, I was just looking. They have yet to enter the room, oh. so we're, we're definitely awaiting your call here. Mm. Um, and ten dollars super chat, you're gonna get five minutes. So that just goes back. You guys can see the graphic, but for those of you who are just listening, this is a free call in show. If you do want to skip the line, you can super chat. And <laughs> she said, Hold up, my phone, Diane. Okay, I got oh. you. Baby. <laughs> I got you. We can just. You want to let her? Yeah, yeah. We'll we'll let her we'll let her get situated. You will be uh, next in line <laughs> after our next lucky caller. We've had lots of people waiting in line, so we are going to hit him with three one six six three one six six three one six six. Shy Charles says you're making it sound like a, a whole carnival cruise. <laughs> I was just about to say I heard that. On, I thought it was a cruise uh, horn. Well, every is it, is it the sounds. fog horn? Is that what that is? Yeah, uh, it, it was. Uh, 3166, you are in the room. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey there. Happy Friday. Happy, Happy Friday. Friday. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to try to make it short this week. Um, so I wanted to tell you guys about an experience that I had. I was visiting a friend of mine one day, and it was like, Hello, late. I used to drive Uber, so I was out all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I went over to her place, and uh, we were walking in, and all of a sudden, I see, and or I can see, like, the shadow and hear somebody's steps behind me. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I knew it was just me and her. It wasn't nobody coming in or supposed to be coming behind us. So, like, I raced to the door to, like, close it. And as I do that, I could see their hand reaching for the door, and it like chuckled. Oh, but no, it man. wasn't a, it wasn't a, but it was a, it was just a shut up. <laughs> and mm. I was like, Ugh, did you hear that? She's like, no, what happened? What was it? As soon as we opened the door, nobody's there, nothing. I was like, oh no, 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 no. No, you seen what you seen? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, sometimes you can see things you won't have available. Me and Austin could be sitting in the same room and I'm like, hey, who that lady in the chair over there? And you can be like, what fucking lady? Because at the end of the day, that's just how it is. Some people will see it, some people Wait, won't. Wait, is Max real? Right. I, yes, are you here? True. I'm an AI. Yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> and then, okay, one more thing. I think I was telling you guys before about my dreams and how, like, um, Sometimes they come true. Mm -hmm. Well, this just happened. I had a dream, like, earlier this week. Um, It wasn't on the spooky side or anything like that, but just kind of adding on to that. um, This dream didn't happen exactly the way my, like, exactly the way that it did in real life, like it usually does. But just the fact that it happened at all, especially that close, I don't feel like my dreams ever come true that close Mm -hmm. to, like, me dreaming about it. But either way, in my dream, I was having this, conversation with somebody at work that I have no idea who the person is, but about an employee that I used to work with and a couple other employees that still work in that area. I moved to a different department, but they still work over there. And so in that dream, we're discussing this person. Now, mind you, there's absolutely zero reason chance that this person would be on my mind, let alone in my dream. Right. Right. <laughs> so I found it odd when I woke up anyway, that I was even discussing him in my dream. And yesterday at work, I'm sitting at my desk doing paperwork, and I look out of the gate, and I see this person walking past my gate. And I'm like, girl, you're tripping. Right. <laughs> say, That's I, not who you saw. Right. He can't even work here no more, and you know that. Like, no way. Mm-hmm. Get my old boss up, like, wait a minute, did y'all really hire him? Because I know he's not hireable. <laughs> so, so what happened? Wait, he wait, called wait. me immediately, like, hold on, girl, you saw who? Right. <laughs> He ain't eligible for rehire. No. <laughs> I work at a 
soccer can't, stadium. Oh, so can't like, collect unemployment so either. Right. I work at a soccer stadium. So, yeah, I think he just got on with, like, one of our, um, you know, like, one of the subsidiary companies that works for our security or whatever. But it was just, it was weird. It, it just made it so much more weird. So I was like, oh, my gosh, I just had a dream about him. That's <laughs> right. so strange. Listen, your dream, I... Okay, so I'm afraid, but at the same time would love the the power to be able to dream things and they come to fruition because it's I a double edged sword. I want a million dollars. Right. Million dollars. Like <laughs> but it's a double edged sword all the time. Because what if you dream something bad and you're like, God damn it, I know, I just know, Lord, this is what's gonna be you know, but then you went you, you dream about things that are good, right? So Man, listen. Yes. I'm going to share that with y'all next week. I'm going to share a dream. She's okay. not calling okay. back okay. next week. <laughs> Thank you, babe. I Thank appreciate you so much. For the call. You so much. <laughs> We got Mr. Fresh in the building. Yes, up, he is here. He's eyeing that spot. I he told is. you he was going to come in and be like, hey. I told you. Your daddy was going to come in. <laughs> okay, I'll scoot over. I'll go over here. Yep, I'll, go, I'll get over here. See, it's My the same spot. While we're, uh, while we're getting situated, I want to... So, I was talking to you about it earlier this week. So, George, we have a big announcement for yes. uh, April here coming up pretty soon. So, every year we do this thing here called the 24-Hour Podcast. It used to be the Action Junkies 24-hour podcast, but now it is the Junkies 24-hour podcast. So what does that mean? That means we are going to be live for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. Yep. On, uh, I presume we're going to have a Junkies YouTube channel. What? Specifically mm-hmm. for it. So what that means is 20 straight up, 20, we're all going to be up 24 hours. Mm-hmm. All of us being George, myself, Travis, yeah. Jory, John, pretty much everybody who's working it. We're yep. going to be up 24 hours. What does that mean for this show? It is on Friday, April 12th. That's when we're starting. 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. The 24 hour starts. Bizarre Junkies is mm-hmm. going to be hosting from 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Okay. So I want to let the people know kind of what we got planned. So we're going to do this mm-hmm. on the 24 hour, which we'll still stream to all the platforms we are right now. Also, though, with your uh, permission, I think, George, I think we need Miss Black Cauldron to give John a tarot reading. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know if this was. I I had heard rumblings, but oh, I, I asked John if he was up I for it, know. and he was like, he's like, uh, yes, <laughs> which is surprising <laughs> because he's. <laughs> it's surprising. So, I want to let you guys know about that now, so we have time to plan. So, for all yes. our East Coast listeners, think of it as your witching hour because it's gonna be twelve a.m. Yes. Pacific Standard Time when we go live. Yeah, uh, which is technically three a.m. Yeah, three yeah. With witching hour. It's a yeah. pajama jam. It, y'all yeah. get y'all pajamas. I may y'all be snacks. delusional. George and I may not be able to. Yeah, because I ain't gonna be on here twenty four hours with y'all. No, you. I, no, no, no. Don't. I'll be there for. Is it the ten? What is it? Ten p.m. To, tw- twelve a.m. to two a.m. Okay. I'll be there for We're that. taking naps. Actually, yeah. I'm not. Um, we bringing cocktails or what? Like yeah. whatever you want. Come on, oh, let's yeah. do it. Yeah, uh, it's a party. But we're gonna try to have <laughs> we're gonna have, try to have some guests okay. on the show. Like I just reached out to Jay Wosley. Okay. See so, if we can have him on for right. it. Right. We also have some other people in the pipeline we're working on getting. Um, but yeah, so it should be a fun time. Yeah. Um, George, uh, we just got your girl super Ooh. chatted. Uh-oh. Oh, she needs to call. She needs to talk to you. Do we have the other caller in though? From yes, the... we do have the other caller. Okay, so let's in. get to them first. Let's hit it up. Two five zero six, Miss Janice. Everybody say hi, Mister Fresh. Hi, Mister Fresh. <laughs> hey, Mister Fresh. Going, y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> oh yeah, it's hey, Mister Fresh. Actually, I don't even know why I'm letting you sit there after what you said about Taco Bell, man. Wow. Right now. <laughs> Over tacos, though. You're a hater. So Nobody the, goes to Taco know, Bell for the damn Taco no. Bell. Right, listen, listen. The tacos. Listen, we don't go there for that. The fact that we have a Hispanic young man oh, that doesn't speak Spanish. Hey, I'm working on it. Hello, <laughs> hello, hello. We will pick oh, up this conversation awesome. after. <laughs> Caller, you are in the room. Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Hey, Mr. Good. How are you? <laughs> struggling, okay, struggling. Oh no. <laughs> uh oh. Hey, it's going to no, be better. No, yeah, I had to. I had to hurry up and and maneuver some stuff. The iPhone was down. I had mm. to pull the iPad out and get See? on the Android. Period. <laughs> right, improvisation at its best. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Okay. So let me start this off. Okay. I got multiple little stories. I just want to throw it out there. I am a, a January Aquarius. I don't know if that got anything to do with anything, <laughs> but you know, us Aquarius, we a little weird. Mm-hmm. We a little weird. That's anyway, okay. So, our so Aries. I want to start off. <laughs> yes. I want to start off by saying ever since I was little, 
I've always kind of had like a gift, okay? okay. Never mm-hmm. really tapped into it until maybe like high school, right? I will say, though, majority of the females in our family are like super sensitive to energy, mm-hmm. okay? <laughs> in any shape, form, or fashion, some people hear stuff. Some mm-hmm. people see stuff. Some people dream about stuff. Mm-hmm. In my specific case, ever since I was little, I could kind of tell when people was going to pass away, mm-hmm. right? Like, I remember the first instance, I, I, might, I might have been like five, and I remember we went to the hospital, my cousin, he was their older cousin, though, and he was in there completely healthy, right? They're like mm-hmm. outside. My dad is his cousin. He's talking to his wife. They're like, oh, yeah, he's going to be out tomorrow. Da, 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 da. And I was like, he's going to die tomorrow. Mm. And they just looked at me girl, like, girl, why he's would you gonna say die that? tomorrow? Like, I yeah, would have been like, like girl. He, he, <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly and he. But you know what, though, the crazy, he did. He oh. had some type of weird complication and he did. Oh my gosh. Crazy. Another, another instance when I don't, I don't, I, I'm not tapped into the ancestors. I'm more of a spiritual person, but I'm not really tapped in like that, right? Mm-hmm. But I know it's something there. I just haven't, you know, I just haven't tapped into it. So there has been instances where people have passed around me. Now, this is the crazy thing. There's a song that comes to my head. I cannot tell you the song, but it feels like an old Negro spiritual type of song, Mm -hmm. like some type of hymn. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it's always maybe a couple of days before. It doesn't have to be somebody like in my family. It has to be like somebody like, you know how Mm -hmm. somebody knows somebody of know somebody, something Mm -hmm. like that. It's Mm -hmm. It's crazy. This done happened like three times in my adult life. Mm. And I can never, I can never know the name of the song. Anyway, so that's just a, something a little lightweight. Anyway, so this is the real thing. This is the real thing. So how much time I got left? Because I don't, I don't You good. Know you at 220. Anything. I'm yeah. listening. Like, what is okay. this old Negro spiritual she speaks of? I feel I like I've heard like, it. And I don't even know what crazy. you're talking about. <laughs> no, for real. It's so crazy because when I hear it, I know it. But then once the feeling goes away, I don't know this song or nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Anyway, so let me, let me fast forward to this. So 2019, we stayed in house uh here in ohio mm-hmm. and uh our rest our room was like in the basement we had a connected restroom now so some basement mm-hmm. so you know how before you get in the shower you uh you know you turn the shower on let it get nice and steamy right in there and everything like that now mind you again i'm sensitive to energy i've always felt like it was uh for the, like maybe the three years prior to that, it's always been some type of male, two different male energies, an older male and a teenage male type of energy around me. Mm. So this specific time, I'm getting in the shower, and it's like a stand-up shower, just a, a regular mm-hmm. standalone shower. Right. I'm getting in the shower, and I forget something, so I turn around. I kid you not, this happened so fast, but I can tell you in detail with this mm-hmm. apparition angel i don't know what this was but as close as you and him are sitting right now that's how close me and this thing was <laughs> we looked at each other real quick like. <laughs> <laughs> because listen arms lift so right. i turn around and i see this little light-skinned hand reaching out to me so like in the same moment i'm looking it's a boy i would say he's about 16 17 you know, he got the little boy, mm-hmm. the little mixed boy haircut. You know mm-hmm. how they got the taper on the side mm-hmm. with the little curl. Yeah, he, he had the Mr. He had Fresh. The little curl. <laughs> <laughs> right. He was fresh. I ain't gonna lie. He was a little nah, fresh. No, Mr. Little fresh dude. over so, there got that haircut. <laughs> okay. Swagged out. So, so, but he had on like an all white, but I was so like, it was so quick. And I looked at his face and it's almost like he gasped, like I wasn't supposed right. to see him. So essentially when I was about to get in the shower, it's like he was reaching to me. So when I turned around to get what I forgot, I seen him reaching 
We looked at each other dead in the eye. Right. It was like a, uh, right. And then he disappeared. But do you see how ghetto that is? Ghosts are so invasive and just ghetto because... And they don't like, pay any bills. No bills at all because how are you going to be surprised to see me at my shit? <laughs> when I tell you, I, I call my daughter and right. say, hey, bro, you're going to have to sit down here in the come shower on, with Come on, you're going to have to come sit down. Uh -uh. Yeah, no. I don't know if this was a time traveler no. or ghost, but he was like in all white. It was like the the fabric that looked on him, it looked like a terry cloth type of fabric. Mm. Crazy. So like a uh Crazy. like a linen white suit. I, I was like, like a yeah, like Caribbean like, type of angel. Is this a oh. I don't know. Listen. He, I didn't feel nothing like mischievous or mm -hmm. anything like that. I just want us to see him. Right, but the, the, what was he doing reaching out? That's what makes me feel like he was oh, about man. to... Yeah, but do you ever... Okay, so listen. Have you ever felt like your mood just changed in an instant? Yep. You don't know what the fuck didn't yep. happen. You in a bad mood. You, you your, your energy is scattered. That's because them ghosts be doing that. Spirits will literally either run through you or be in you for a couple hours. Okay, and that's... Because yeah, what, what, what was he about to do? Why? Oh, why no. are you so su surprised? <laughs> to see no, me in my like, dwelling, mm, right? Oh, and my shit. He, gasped, he was out of there. I said, "What the fuck?" I right. Said, <laughs> <laughs> I started to cut in front of the baby. No, but you I, had good. To, I flew upstairs and I was like, "Hey, can you sit down here in the restroom with me?" Right. I didn't even tell him why. But he know I done told him some crazy stories too before. Right. And he ain't never looked at me crazy. But mm -hmm. he was, listen, he I call y'all back next week like old girl said with some more stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. Love you down for calling. I, I really do. Yes, yes, girl. Shout out to you too. I, I found you off YouTube, a couple of comp uh, okay. compilations. Okay. And now I'm I'm hit on to the to the whole okay. squad. Period. <laughs> Thank you so much. I yeah. appreciate it. Y'all have a good night. Thank you, you too. as well. People in your chat are saying he was like that cake though. <laughs> <laughs> it's whole. It's, 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 it was whole. Like. Listen. <laughs> All right, George. We gotta get. We gotta get to Chytrell for you. I know George. George can use a pick me up today. We've had a long day today. You know what? My mic isn't working. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's okay. okay. It's all right. Now we we didn't spit. We didn't ran. Our mouth, so now I'm ready. To just <laughs> she let said, "Damn, this whole time they say I'm bipolar, but his ghost changing my moods." Oh no, <laughs> on on me, like that's really a thing. Like <laughs> I that's promise. Why I always be so angry. What is this music he's playing? Oh, I was bad. I was bad. I, Shai, I, Shai, I, we're getting, we're, we're, that was not the right kind of music, sir. Oh, is he trying to get? Oh. Hey, y'all. Hey, Noah. Hey, hey baby. Hello. <clears throat> Hi, George. Hi, <laughs> hey. Shai. I said I was going to behave. I am I'm trying my best. It's hard. You said kind of. She said kind of. Um, I was calling because um, I know Noah had mentioned before that children, their veils are very, very thin, mm -hmm. almost non-existent yeah. when they're born. Well, I have two boys. One is now 11, one is six. Mm -hmm. My baby boy, he's on the spectrum, mm -hmm. but it's more behavioral. Mm -hmm. But back, let's back up to when my oldest was like maybe one or younger. Um, he's always been advanced and very independent. Like he busted out of his crib at nine months. And mm -hmm. when I wake up, he'll be like pulling himself up on the side of the bed, staring at me in my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and I'm just like, dude, what do you want? Mm -hmm. But um, there will be times where he'll already be up out of his crib. And my mom, I told y'all before my mom passed when I was 10, um, I'll come in the living room and I have her picture. At the time, I had a picture on one of my nights, uh, my end tables in the living room. He would be on that table staring at her picture, mm -hmm. just talking gibberish, his little mm -hmm. baby language for a Aww. while. And he would do this all the time. And yeah. one day I just snuck up on him and I had my phone and I took a picture and recorded it. And he was just going on and on. Now, it's on my Google account. When I find it, I'll email it to you, know, yes, or, or, or in Bizarre Junkies, because y'all can y'all might see some stuff on that video that I just never noticed. Yes, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like little orbs or something. It might it didn't just hit me until the show. I was like, dang, I probably saw some on those pictures mm -hmm. and didn't really pay yep. attention. So that's one incident that happened. Now, my baby boy who's on the spectrum, he was super delayed. They are polar opposites. If I didn't push him out, I would think that those kids had different mommas and daddies. <laughs> <laughs> Two 
completely different kid. So um, he was delayed. His speech is delayed, everything. Mm -hmm. Well, he's like three or four at this time. And he would come in my room and tell me, Mommy, there's a white man in my room. Mm -hmm. It's clear as day. Oh and it's always hard to make out what he was saying. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, boy, it ain't no white man <laughs> in your room. The only white man I know like that, they'll be in my house is my uncle. And it's George. Hey, it's <laughs> George. <laughs> Not George. And, and, and I know, I know it wasn't George at the time because I didn't say it. <laughs> You know what? It, know. That's crazy because um, <laughs> our 14 year old, we lived in an old uh, townhouse here in Las Vegas back in the day when uh -huh. Maxie, Maddie, whichever we call her today, um, was about a newborn. Maybe <laughs> I think I brought her up in the hospital. She might have been two at that crib. Uh, no, like she two, was younger two, than that. I mean, two months. I mean. Yeah, two months. And my son, he was three years old or two and a half. And he was like, Mommy, there's a man in your bathtub. There's a man in the tub. Hold up, hold up. So, Listen, no, so then I was like, was haunted, it was bro. hella haunted. <laughs> Vegas is a whole, Vegas? like, listen, <laughs> fighting for your life. So then I was like, you know, maybe not. I mean, I had some experience myself, but I wasn't going to scare the two and a half year old. So my brother, my big brother came and stayed with us. And he was like, um, hey, so there was a, a man that just ran up your stairs. With a tracksuit on. With a tracksuit on. I said... <laughs> What you talking about? He was like, and he don't live here. Oh, no. Anyways, he he started blasting in my... <laughs> yeah. Oh, hell no. Man. <laughs> and then like... a couple days later, he's like, oh, the saran wrap just flew at me from the... the what? Off of the refrigerator. Well, and I'm like... You, sis had an experience at that crib? So yeah. Like, everybody crib was, was like, don't renew the lease there. And I sure didn't. I sure I did not. Like, that stuff is real. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, that stuff is real. And for a long time, he'll have a hard time falling asleep. Yeah. Well, like I said, that spirit don't know, homie. So mm -hmm. I would tell him that he has a guardian angel, my mom. I said, whenever you're scared, just call on Grandma Angel. And he's six now. To this day, he calls on mom, Grandma oh, Angel. Yes. I said, she'll never let anything happen to you. Say, so whenever man. he's scared, he's like, help me, Grandma Angel. I'll hear oh, him say that. Oh, so after adorable. a couple of years, it died down. But now looking back on it, and now with him with autism, mm -hmm. I pay really close attention to what he said because I really Absolutely. feel like, I feel like both of them have a gift, but I really feel like my youngest can see things, but he just can't articulate it because mm -hmm. of his mm -hmm. his um, diagnosis. Yeah. So I pray over him every day, especially when we go to school. I pray over him every day because I know that, you know, some spirits are benevolent yes. and they can see my son as a weakness. Yeah. But little yeah. did they yes. know. My, my baby packing heat because my mama don't play. <laughs> For real. <laughs> on, on me. And that's how it is. You know, it's so funny. All the children um, that I know that are delayed or on the spectrum, they're all very spiritual children. I'm like, are they truly on the spectrum mm -hmm. or are they just experiencing? No, they're, just they're using more of their brain than y'all. Right. More them. brain power than the average person mm -hmm. because my four-year-old is delayed. His speech is delayed. Yep. And I can Same remember. My yeah, yeah. He's nothing like our Look, other Nothing kids. like, first of all, he's a thug. I mean, all my <laughs> kids are thugs. But, you know, he was playing tag with my deceased father in our house. Wow. Yes. Yeah. I say we're grandpa. He like he right there. Oh. <laughs> and I'm gonna go. Uh -huh. So just recently, um, my my kids' granddad is their dad's dad. He's been in the home. We took care of him, but we end up having to put him in the home. His health declined for the worst. Mm -hmm. Hospice was getting involved in everything, so they rounded up the family and we went to the nursing home. And his grandkids are all there, whatever. And my oldest, my 11 year old, I, I prepared him. I'm like, don't be scared. You know, we just don't know what's going to happen. And I want you to be able to spend these moments with your granddad. Right. So he went in, he walked up to him. He wasn't, he wasn't scared or anything. He went, he was the only one that sat on the bed and held his hand. Mm -hmm. After a few minutes, you know, I took him to the hallway and I was like, are you okay? And he was like, yeah, it's just sad. I'm not scared or anything. I said, okay. I said, so what did you do? And he said, I just prayed for him. And it shocked me because we're not like really religious and stuff like yes, that. I don't, beautiful. you know, beat to my kids to pray. Yeah. But being as though like nobody told him to do that and he did that, it blew my mind. Yeah, and then so the next day, yeah. <laughs> he was taken to the hospital, but a few weeks later, the doctors were talking about, like, you know, if we wanted to resuscitate him on all of that. It was, like, that serious, but he did a whole 180. Mm. He's not even on a breathing machine anymore. And go. I feel deep down in my soul that he's living off my baby's prayer. Yeah. yeah. 
Facts. Yeah, for sure. Let me tell you, them babies, they be, they are special. Children are so special when it comes to the spiritual realm because they still are there. Like they're pure and innocent. Like, they don't. Yes, that energy. They don't have any wickedness, no ill intent. They're just one hundred percent babies. So, but thank yes. you, girl. For yes, thank you for the super your chat and your call. All right. You're welcome. Talk to y'all next week. Right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know what? Man, that's a good story, man. I'd love listening to see the way the callers evolve. Yeah. It's one of the coolest things about this show so yeah. far. Yes, I, I love it. And whenever they talk about their kids, their experience, and different things like that, it just it reminds me so much of my kids. Like now, my eight year old. Oh, I forget. Sorry, I'm sitting back like I'm the CEO of the show, and I'm definitely not. Um, but, you know, it just makes – it reminds me of all the things that my kids have been through. Now my seven-year-old right. saying weird stuff. You know, I told you about, you know, the – the I or did we say it while we were on the air about yeah, my son? Yeah, we already son? told him. But there was that, just, like, something that – like oh, yeah. when, when she was, like, talking about her son, like, praying mm-hmm. for um, his grandpa and stuff – it just reminded me of when I said that we need to go see Mama Rose yeah. because she's oh very sick. Oh my God! Yes, she that's right. Away, right? Yeah, yeah, that's got like, a good when memory, I was like, don't when you? I was like, like, like a toddler, mm-hmm. we um, our grandma got sick before she died, mm-hmm. and I was like seeing like photos of her because my aunt was showing me, and I was like, Grandma, Ro- Grandma Rose is very sick. We need to go see her right yes. now. And the next day, we went to go see her, and like a few like weeks later, she died. And it wow. wasn't even that. It wasn't even that long. Yeah, wow. it wasn't a few yeah. weeks. But you like... did not tell. You told George and I that story off her, but you did not yeah. tell the story about no. the eyes. You no. should definitely. My okay, so I have an eight year old Flash. If you watching, Happy Birthday, baby. Happy Today birthday. Is his name Ooh. or his birthday. We call him Flash. But my <laughs> eight year old. Um, he's like, there's scary eyes in the vent. And of course, my OG spiritualist child was like, well, stop looking in the vent. I'm like, ain't no eyes in there. Yeah, Please it was just the same with the, the yeah, house. it was the same with the window. I was like, stop looking at the, he was like, there's no scary stuff at the window. I was like, yeah. stop yeah. looking at the window. That, yes. That reminds me of like, like, you know, I'm, I'm going through a, I had a car accident back in, in July. So I'm nursing a, a spinal injury mm-hmm. and I went to go see the surgeon yeah. a few weeks ago. And he like is checking something, and then he stops, and then he's like, "I need you to come look at this." I'm like, "Oh, come on, right, no, man, right. you don't come have to on. say I don't that." I want to hear that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and that's how it is. Like people with children that are spiritualist. I listen. Y'all are the strongest type of parents because sometimes we be the drama. We bring certain energies because we not scared of nothing, and we're open and all this other stuff, and we'll accidentally bring a low vibrational spirit into our our space, and then our baby seeing it, and you know. It's hard, you know? Yeah. I had a is. friend, and, I, like, she was so low vibrational about, about her show. She was like, oh, um, I'm so ugly. Yeah, and you know your friends be watching my show now. Yeah, don't, don't know. No, no. Don't get beat up at school. Yeah, yeah. What was, no. what was her name? What class do you have with that? <laughs> no. I, I gladly drop her name <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, right. no. See? We're not going to. It's, 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 it's not just. It's just, just based on a few yeah, things, yeah, it's not just me. Let's just call her D. She was always, like, my kid is bad about my herself. Kid. Yeah. yeah, she was always, like. I hate myself so much and like oh I'm so ugly I'm so girl fat. is this a spiritual uh kind of no. because <laughs> kind of <laughs> because kinda. literally she, she was just like she was like always friends. when she did that and when we had that sleepover she kept just saying bad things about herself and when she left I just felt bad about myself too. well that's because like, energy never dies it's only transferable and right. then like and never After that, stops. when we went um, to grandma's, she she ghosted me. Yeah, I already saw, saw it coming because like she kept acting like very well, bad. When I didn't say anything, she was like, "So are you gonna come for me?" I'm like, "Well, mm. babe, sometimes we things. Calls, bro, yeah, we gotta something. get more yeah. to more cause, but sometimes things are done for you, not to you. And some people, listen, I got ghosted recently. Thank you, bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so real quick, I just want to say like two or three things. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I just came in late, y'all. Uh, so. Hello, everybody. Uh, my eight water is magically delicious. <laughs> magically, <laughs> magically, magically delicious. Magically delicious. Yes, thank you to our partners you know, and yes. friends over at Ape Water. Thank you to the partner. This pure spring water is hitting, y'all. And mm-hmm. for anybody who got their case. Yeah, toast. they should have been sending those out. So let me know if you don't get them. And but then I wanted to. Uh, I'm sorry. Y'all know where I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> so y'all know where we're speaking of water. Uh, Black Cauldron went to the bathroom. I wanted to shine some light on her sweater that she had on because she got it from Target today. 
<laughs> but it's a Black History sweater. Okay. Happy Black History Month, y'all. So uh, it's, it's it's dope that they in- integrate stuff like that. It's it's unfortunate that you could only get it mm-hmm. one month a year. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like I'm gonna have her stand up so all the viewers could see it whenever you know. Yeah, because I actually like that shirt. When I when I saw that, I got. She was like, "Do you like your shirt?" I'm like, "Yeah, mommy, thank you." She was like. <laughs> She was like, I'm gonna take you guys. I'm gonna take you to Ross so I can get you some more stuff. I'm like, you ain't supposed to okay, tell a yeah. story. Oh, they supposed to think we shop our Balenciaga. Or Balenciaga. Uh, uh, or yeah. No, no. Sorry, my no, bad. No, I no. meant Gucci, y'all. Listen, Ross is where it's at. Okay. It's six hey, of Ross us. Ross is where it's at. It's six at. of us. We yeah. going to Ross and Burlington all day. <laughs> Yeah, you might, you might catch and maybe me. Timu if we if we got listen, time. Yeah, listen, Timu, might... they be sending her presents all the time. I'm like, it's not Christmas. Amazon. It's listen, February. Amazon, yeah. Listen, I bought. We just bought about a thousand dollars worth of stuff off of Amazon yesterday. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I think I spent like a hundred today, and I was like, all right, I gotta chill out. Listen, you gotta you gotta switch it up though. It's different levels of different things, right? Like we went to Target today. We dropped a little, a little couple bucks. At we always do. We always do at Target. No, Target is mad expensive. Yeah. Like, Target. 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 A, Listen, my, my girlfriend calls it shirt diddly daddly Target. time. <laughs> so you're not allowed to sit. You're All right, to sit. go sit down. Show him your shirt. Oh my sweater! I know my <laughs> I like to thank black women. Period. Have a nice day. Thank you, Chatrell. <laughs> thank you, Chatrell. George, I think we have Chatrell. Thank you. Give her a round of applause, y'all. Yes. 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 I, um, I should. Oh, Where's the sound of Yes. They got the heat at Target. Mm. I don't even know what we're applauding for, but. I just, just want to shine some Me light either. on your Black History Month show. Yes, I love it. I so, bought a bunch of Black History Month. Before we get stuff. to the next caller, you brought up Ape Water. So, Ape Water, once again, is wanting to uh, give back to one of you. Uh, who calls in today? So, Mr. Fresh, you, I hope you've been <coughs> listening. I know you've been in the chat the whole time. But. I've been, I've been, I've been tapped in. Okay, I've been okay. watching. I've been watching uh, since I left my appointment. And uh, okay, there was a lot of ads today. The, <laughs> oh, ads are, the ads are adding. Hopefully that that translates oh. to compensation. No, I didn't know that. I'm <laughs> well, sorry, yeah, y'all. They should. It was like an ad every like four minutes. Damn. Oh, oh wow. wow. No, okay. Did it? Yeah, I, I I got that complaint no. too, and I have it set to like low. <laughs> yeah, we. I literally let YouTube. They say like smart ads play somewhere it makes sense. Not too many YouTube. Please don't do that to them. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. was saying. I was saying. I'm um, Grubhub on the Nobody goes to Grubhub anymore. Yeah. This is an Uber I'm Eats a, studio. Hold <laughs> on. Were we talking about Timu? Did oh did you you guys see that we are all saying Timu wrong? What, how would oh, you say it? Timu. Or Timu what, or yeah. I don't know. It, it's something. It's not Timu. It's like Timu. So I'm addicted to, to Timu. Timu. It's it was a commercial on the Super Bowl. Timu, until you start paying me, it's Timu. Um, <laughs> but, they, they actually pay us, so. But you guys have to say Listen, Timu. But they they ain't never, listen, I've never, I have, I'm in bed with Timu at this point. They ain't never corrected me. Oop. It's still Timu. <laughs> so, Mr. Fresh is going to be picking one of our callers tonight okay. uh, for Ape Water to be sending them a case of water, <laughs> courtesy of our friends over at Ape Water. So, just keep that in mind. If you call in, we may we so may pick your call. And I'm going to need your name and address so I can have them send that over to you. This water is great. I love this water. I actually, yeah, it's phenomenal. I, I yeah. drink it at home. It's nice. Yeah, so so Chantel's not going to automatically win just because. <laughs> yeah, George <laughs> might, George might George. send her one. I was just whoa, thinking whoa, that. Whoa, I was like, maybe George she should win because if you she got keeps it. Drop her off a <laughs> <drop her off laughs> <of> shade. <laughs> she so, got the hots for All doing. right, George, Wait. who do we have up next? All righty. Our next caller. 8993. 8993. 8993. Press star six, please. Somebody in your chat saying, I'm t- so tired of people dissing Taco Bell. If you don't like it, don't eat it. Thank Period. You. <laughs> we live on the West Coast, period. and we got, we got real tacos from somebody's abuela. Cole, yeah. Hello. you were in the room. Hello. Uh-oh. You there? Are you there, caller? I think she accidentally muted herself. She Hello? May- there oh, you there are. You Yay. Are. Hello. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> hey. hey, girl. Hey. Welcome. Hi. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. yes. We can hear you good. Yes. Hello. Uh-oh. Oh, we may Uh-oh. have a connection issue. Yeah, we can hear you. Hello? Okay, okay. I'm just making sure you guys can hear me. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So I'll get right into my story. I just want to hear you guys' opinion if it's something I'm 
I'm not really spiritual, but I am. I believe in God, and so I pray, right. but I'm not Christian. I don't hold the religion. So I'm saying all that to say my family is from New Orleans. I have never been to New Orleans as an adult. Mm. And so for my birthday, I decided to go to New Orleans and, oh. I, you know, explore. Right. You know, so I had a great time. We decided to do a cemetery tour, mm-hmm. which was awesome. We did the Marie Laveau Museum. It was a, a whole thing. Mm-hmm. When we got to the cemetery tour, they offered us uh, two metal prongs to like talk to spirit if you yes, wanted to. Yes. I I was not about that life. I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you They're the dousing cemetery. rods. It's the things that you hold like this and they cross for yes and no. Yes. Yes, yes dousing I'm rods. I'm very much there for the thrill, not for the real. <laughs> <laughs> New t-shirt so, coming soon. <laughs> um, yeah, right. Um, I, me and my husband was there. He's a bit of a jokester. The guy who was giving the tour told us like, yeah, you know, we're in the cemetery, you know, he's giving us the backstory of all the people that died or so off, you know, trying to do the spooky thing, giving us a little bit of the scary history. He goes, let me give you guys a pre-morning. Don't go to this side of the field because we've had like, you know, some, some things that happen and it's kind of a hazard for mm-hmm. us. You know, we've had some people have heart attacks, don't really go to yes. here. Oh, and so no. everybody's doing their thing. And my husband's a jokester. He's like, I'm going to go and take pictures. So he goes and like takes pictures. He thinks he sees something, all that good stuff. He thinks it's funny. It's hilarious. Mm. So they tell us to leave out of the cemetery, walking backwards to leave <laughs> into yes. behind. <laughs> we do all of that. We do all of that. That's all great. We have a great trip in New Orleans. We get mm-hmm. back home. We have a brand new house that we've been in about three months. Mm-hmm. Um, the first night we got home, we got our kids home. My seven-year-old comes out of the room screaming, Mommy, it's a man in my room. And um, so I go, because, I mean, he's young. Right, you know, so right, I'm right. Like, okay, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, there's no man I'm taking pretend ghosts out, you know. You know, okay, then kick him out the door. Mommy, mm. there's somebody in my room. There's somebody in my room. So this happened for like three nights where he came out. He didn't want to sleep in his room. He said someone's mm. in his room. <laughs> okay, so after that happens, I'm still like, okay, it's a young kid. You know, right. I'm telling the story. My, my husband's showing the pictures. You know, we're, we're talking about our time in New Orleans. On the third night, my husband, I'm sleeping next to him. And he just starts screaming, like, someone's on top of me. I can't breathe. But he's asleep while he's doing this. He's not awake. Oh but he's giving God. full sentences, like, oh, my God, someone's on top of me. I can't breathe. So I'm, like, literally, like, shaking. Like, what's going on? Are you okay? It's a bad dream. What's, like, I, I don't know anything about all these things. I really mm-hmm. just started discovering these things when I started watching you, Noah. Yes. So, <laughs> seriously. I was just, I was freaked out. So I got super freaked out. I looked up, I bought some sage. I'm not spiritual, but I like walked around my house and prayed the next day. Yeah. And just went to every room. And I kid you not, the very next day, it all just stopped. Yeah. Let me wow. tell you, um, I'm so surprised your tour guy had you walk out backwards. They've been talking to some people like me. Some They, they some, watched the Black Cauldron. They either, they, yes. They had <laughs> it didn't help, obviously. No, you know, I yeah. Feel like because it's more to because- it, and that's why, like, they just need to leave shit alone. Because see, they they had y'all. Because I'm pretty sure the tour guide did not look like me, and they hear things, but you gotta know what you're doing. You you know, it's not right. just about walking out backwards or whatever. Listen, I walk out backwards and I leave some little penny candies at the gate and I throw three pennies because you ain't about to, <laughs> nobody's coming out after me. But St. Louis Cemetery, number one, is one of the most haunted cemeteries in New Orleans. So it does not surprise me that you accidentally brought something home. It's very ghetto. Oh, well, I, I, I'm just, my, I'm asking if your opinion, do you really think I bought something home or yes. could it be coincident oh, no. that my son <laughs> and my husband freaked himself out nope. because he wants to play with ghosts. Nope. Ain't no, <laughs> there's, in the spiritual realm, there's no such things as uh, coincidences. Everything is, when you guys walked out backwards, yes, okay, just be glad it was only one Should and it wasn't the, yes, absolutely, yeah. get you some cedar, get you some mugworth, um, some kind of cleansing. If you burn sage, that's even better because that clears out everything, good and bad energy. So, 
But there is one thing mm-hmm. that could have that, that could have been an option other than her bringing something back. Mm-hmm. Like we ob- we obviously know that Las Vegas is a very old place. Yes, a lot of people got buried out here. Yes, in in the deserts and it could now have been houses a, are yeah. being built on top of where yes. the mobsters used to we bury people. We were only in the house. We were only in the house for three months and. I'm from Texas. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, nah, I, I doubt it. Like, yeah. It comes down so, to the point of New Orleans, and not only it could be where your house is built on top of, but New Orleans is a very, very old city. With strong and energies. it could not <laughs> just have been you going to the cemetery. You could have went to a a bar, a restaurant, anywhere, and accidentally picked up some wanderer spirit. Hotel. Um, a hotel, Yeah, I'm especially. glad that it was just one mm-hmm. because... Just yes. imagine one is like, okay, is they're enough. gone. Follow after them, guys. And the mm-hmm. whole house comes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, glad. my gosh. Thank <laughs> you so much for your call. We do have to move on to other callers. But thank you yes, so much thank you so for thank another you. riveting story. Thank you story. so much. Thank, thank you, guys. you. All right, George, who do we have uh, up next? Our next caller is going to be... 6119. That reminds me of Rey Mysterio. Six, He's one, been in one, here. Nine. I met him. Six, uh, one of the shows one, I produced one, had him on as a guest. Super nice guy. Booyaka, booyaka. <laughs> He's also like this tall too. Like I was like, damn, dude, you're Ooh. short. Ray Mysterio? Oh. <laughs> he was here, he was here in the studio last year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he was on one of the one of the shows I produced at the time. Did I, you get in touch with the the medium lady? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. She's what's her name oh, again? Buffy. Buffy. Okay, I don't like calling her. I the feel like lady. I feel like star six to unmute yourself. Oh, I, may, I think line, I think I muted. There we go. Call her back <laughs> online. I'm sorry for muting you for a second. That's okay. <laughs> I, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. I, I, I'm good. All right. Um, I have a story I wanted to tell. Okay. Uh, I met a mermaid. Well, hey, 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 babe. <laughs> Start off high. Yeah. Right. And I, I only started talking about it when my son graduated from high school. So one of those kids that nobody would believe you and you would get beat for telling mm-hmm. what you told, so you quit telling it. Mm-hmm. So, but um, I'm 58. Uh oh, you're cutting out real bad. Can you hear they don't want you to tell this story. Yeah, spirit, <laughs> and they don't want you to tell yeah, it. We can't you're hear talking you. too much. Can you hear us okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, you off a speakerphone. Maybe, are you getting an echo or anything? It's just cutting, yeah, cutting up. Out. We're good you're now. You're off speakerphone. Okay. Um, so, um, the JFK Community Center had opened up. Which is a- Kennedy Community Center had opened mm. up for, they got a grant. And that was very, that was very lucrative. And that was very good for the, uh, the young kids. It was very good. So they, anyway, they would um, have trips, go to the Statue of Liberty, the um, UN. It was just great. Moving, we moved to Kentucky in 71 and I cried. Oh, I cried. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> I knew there was nothing down here. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway... Anyway, we went to the Statue of Liberty. Now, it was anywhere between 67, 68, 69. 68 would have been 10. Okay, my brother, he was too young to go. So that was the first year that I was able to go because I was old enough to go. Mm -hmm. So we went to the Statue of Liberty, and we were sitting on the ferry. Okay, so... Up to that time, you know, you only read stories about um, uh, ship captains and stuff. And to me, that was a ship captain. Okay, so I wanted to see what he looked like. And it was real (laughs) misty and foggy that morning. Mm -hmm. And I went up to the top. Everybody else was um, on the lower level, and some of them went down to the bottom because they wanted to see the engines. Well, I wanted to see the captain, I guess. I was the only one who wanted to see the captain. I wanted to see the captain. All I was was in books and drawings. And back then, you didn't have photographs. You had drawings in your little books. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to see what he actually looked like. Well, he had um, yellow, uh, what do you call those, raincoats of the day, a yellow hat, and he had on those galoshes where the, the, the boots are open. You know, he walked with the boots open. 
and he was behind the big steering wheel, you know, that big steer with the steering wheel with the, the thing. So I sat down and I looked at him. Somebody came up next to me, and it was, I thought it was a girl for years. And when I say years, it wasn't until my mind was closed. Put away. When I got my behind tore up, it just kind of wiped out everything for, for lying. So, but anyway, what had happened was my, my mom was one of those people that loved to tell big, so she just projected it out on me. But anyway, that uh, mermaid, which, you know, it was because it appeared to be a child to me, okay? Mm -hmm. But now back in those days, what we were at in Rawway was a black community. Okay, so everybody on those buses were black and Hispanic kids. Okay, but this particular uh, person looked white. Okay, which you would consider white looking. Okay, mm -hmm. which puts me in mind is there's just like there's more than one race of humans. There's more than one race of those people or mm -hmm. those yes, there are. entities. I guess you yes. would call them. Yeah. So anyway. She asked me something that was way I was smart enough to know that, and it was political. And I just said, I don't know. I remember, like, just as clear as yesterday. And I looked up. And I looked, and I looked up. And I looked, oh, no, we're losing you. Know, you. They this. don't want you to tell the story. <laughs> I know. We can't hear you. It's cutting out real bad. The last thing I heard oh, was it was a... Uh, the mermaid asked a or some the thing asked a political question and you say you didn't know. Yes, I didn't what what anywhere between seven and ten, mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe eleven. Oh, no, I didn't know. So I just don't know, just like that. So um, I looked at the sea captain. No, when I said I looked at the sea captain, and then I heard a splash and I turned and looked back. And her, and she was nowhere to be found at all. I looked over the side and everything. Mm. I looked back at him. All the color was out of his face. <laughs> he said, did all you see that? Because I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much what it was. And I looked at my mouth off when he said, go back down with the rest of the kids. I didn't, you know, he was a sea captain. It was a little bit slick up there from it being so misty. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did what he said. I went back down. But I met one, and that one talked. And it wasn't until then I realized, not then, but when I say then, I mean, like, this is 2024. My son graduated in 2000. It was around 2010 that I realized that was a sister. Mm -hmm. This is my girlfriend boss that to my attention. Yeah. And it spoke, mm -hmm. which I don't know. You know, I mean, I can testify to that. Mm -hmm. it and it appeared to be a, a young girl about my age. But, like I said, if it's a shape shifter, it can, you know, yes, it can do anything. they can come up to the land. Well, okay, that's in the Hudson Bay, mm -hmm. the Statue of Liberty's at, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now remember, you guys are young, but I don't know if you all remember reading it or uh, hearing it all grew up. When AIDS came out, all of those needles washed up on the shore of Jersey and around and through there because the hospitals were just throwing the the uh the mm -hmm. needles and all the refuse stuff into the Hudson Bay. Any of y'all remember? I that? remember I remember reading about it. Um I was born in ninety one, so I that was a little bit before my time, but I've read about it. Okay. So now doesn't that make you wonder if there are a whole bunch of living entities up there, don't you think they push their back on them on them beaches? Yeah. Think oh well of course. It. They like y'all throwing shit in our uh Home. Here you go. Here goes all your Back trash yard. bag. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you so yeah. much for sharing that experience. Yeah. Because that's one thing that I just said a minute, like I said, I, I pissed some people off. But that mermaid video, they can be in lakes, streams, rivers, oceans. They all look different. You know? Yeah. I my <laughs> You guys got a reaction out of me when we were like five minutes into the call and she said, I talked to one. And I was like, I yeah. think we should... 
We should lead with the the yeah. talking to the mermaids. Yeah. Yeah. I talked to a mermaid. I I okay. Mermaid. I was like, whoa. No, because Could there's you imagine a though they're like, they're like, are you independent or are you voting Republican? You're like, <laughs> hold on. Can we get around the first fact that you're a, a whole you're mermaid? A, well, <laughs> this is the thing. There, I've seen so many stories on TikTok, especially from Haitian people, who you know their grandpa or their dad has had an encounter with a beautiful drop dead beautiful woman and. He thinks he's walking her home, and they go to the ocean, and they have to hurry up and like turn around. This shit is real. Okay, it's very real. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. You know what else is real? Matthew in the chat is saying that he loves your videos. Oh, thank you so much, Matthew. I appreciate you. Just imagine you. that you meet somebody, and then you, she's like, "Oh yeah, I have to go home now," and you're taking her home. Yeah, you're taking and her she to the leads ocean. you, and then she, you see sand, you're like, "Wait, what?" And then she just hold. Uh, Full on just turns into the little mermaid. Turns into George, come back to my place. I can can promise you the sirens do not look like Ariel. No. (laughs) Yeah, they look like Walmart or like like Disney. It's not a a musical when you see a mermaid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, they start off uh, looking beautiful if they're up on land, but I've heard of them shape I don't really call them mermaids. I call them sirens because Mm -hmm. of just the implication of usually what they're trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's very much. Yeah. They lure you in. They lure you in with their songs. So yeah. sirens, they well, sing. you know, yeah. the Greek uh, mermaids, they have wings. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dangerous. <laughs> yeah, we, they were uh, birds. <laughs> we've, on the on the reaction show, we've had a couple of videos of a guy out at sea, and he's and you hear somebody, like a woman, calling to him. Sauce 90? Uh, yeah. Sauce. We're mutuals. We're friends now. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's yeah. really cool. Like, oh, that's scary. And are, you getting him in? Real? Huh? are we getting him in on the show? He's all the way on the East Coast. I mean, he disappeared after he made that video because they was yeah they, I remember yeah. that the where they were like the government was like showing yeah, up they yeah. showed up to his thing once he docked but so my mermaid video somebody tagged him and I just replied to the person that tagged him like I really like his content because I was following that story like yeah why don't rice okay so <laughs> well, then, we were, we were fo- Franny, I, of course Franny was following yeah. it and we were following it too and so he was like I love your content too and I'm like oh my god I'm fangirling hey and then I go to his, <laughs> go to his profile and they were like oh we're following each other we're friends okay yeah all right you know yeah. so he was cool so uh so flesh uh-huh Flash and the, and the care, caregiver. The caregiver. <laughs> I'm calling them the caregiver what? at this moment. Oh, they're in the chat right now. It's unknown. Okay. And they're definitely commenting. Okay. What if they wanted to be stay as unknown and you just blew their cover? Well, we I mean, they, they commented, Kai. hey, dad. They just said, hey, dad. Did, okay. I don't, I don't <laughs> think his his <laughs> actual name is unknown. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kai. Hi, Flash. Happy birthday, baby. Happy hey, birthday, man. Yeah, uh, yep. I'm glad he's able to. I don't know if he was here earlier but mommy kept her promise and i said happy birthday at the beginning i don't know if you can see it but, but we got other birthdays in the chat too so who it's, else oh, we do who else? birthdays is it um, Ooh, who just said it who just said it janet janet threat just happy said today's birthday, her birthday janet happy birthday janet it's a beautiful day yeah hi janet thank you for spending this friday with us yes, yes. your birthday you could have been Yo, anywhere yeah in the world. You, you could have literally went to a restaurant but you're sitting here watching our okay. live we really you appreciate went and got a that a lot right <laughs> maybe you did you're watching she mm-hmm. might be grown so she could have been having a cocktail right, right. now right yeah, yeah just sitting there with us. Ooh, thank you guys spooky story. george who do we have next our mm-hmm. next caller is going to be nine five seven zero Nine five seven zero star six. Tell me yourself. Nine five seven zero. Oh, oh, there we go, voice. caller. You are in the room. If you can mute your TV for us, please. Thank you. Just the peace and love. Hey, hey. love and light. Hi, oh. love. Hey, Miss Noah. Hey. Uh oh. Um. Okay, I have like millions of stories. I was struggling to figure out which, where to start. Tell us the best but, one first. Right. Yeah. <laughs> to give us that right. heat. Spell so, the tea. <laughs> I have this one from years ago where I was on the train mm. in my area. And this guy came on the train and he like sat across from me. And when we was getting ready to get up to get off the train, I was about to step out. And it's like he paused as if he was waiting for me to go before him. Mm-hmm. But then I realized it wasn't that because, like, 
he literally waited until I got far enough past him for him to fall. Like, had I not gotten, took that last step that I took, he would have fell on top of me. Mm. That man dropped dead. Oh! After staring me in my eyes. Wow! I freaked out and started screaming. Oh, what? And awesome they space. had to help me get off the train. Oh, And gosh. I, like, dropped into a squat and was, like, panicking, freaking out, and I was, like, refusing to look back. And they was like, he okay? He okay? And I'm like, no, he's dead. And like, no, he's okay. He okay? And I'm like, he's dead. He's dead. And they was like, look, he's okay. And I looked up, and the man was, uh, like, they had got him up in the seat, and he was alive. What? And then they brought me back on the train with him, and the man started staring me in my face, like, begging me to let him die. Whoa, whoa. What, what happened to Hi? How was your day? How are you doing? I'm alive. I'm dead. Right. I'm passing. Can you please, I'm please allow you. me to die? Because you saved me. Right. <laughs> He's like, you know how long I've been asking God to take me to the upper room, and here you come, being, I'm, I'm touched by an angel. <laughs> That is crazy. Right. Oh, I well, if, been, if he wanted to die, you could come around me. Part, so. <laughs> huh? I said, if he was willing to die, you could come around me. Save me, please. <laughs> right? So listen, so speaking, since you just said that, that just helped me realize what the next story I should tell, right? Mm-hmm. So not that many years ago, this one was not that many years ago, I was in the apartment I used to stay at, and my lights was out, so I was sitting in the laundry room. And I was on my computer or something, and the radio <laughs> started playing, like, the radio just came on by itself and started playing some weird music, playing music, like, as if Spirit was talking to me through the radio. Mm, and so I'm like, this was, this was when I was, like, new to, like, I have been experiencing spiritual stuff my whole life. That's why I said I got millions of stories to tell. Mm -hmm. But I was still, like, not really sure about what was going on. And I was, like, being followed by spirit. Mm -hmm. And so I was trying to figure out what was going on. So I'm in the laundry room, minding my business, on my computer. And the radio starts coming on by itself playing music. So what I did, I went and unplugged that bitch. Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be scared. But nah. No, no, no. <laughs> Why that drink came on again oh, and no. started playing some music? And I then when I crying. plugged it back mm-hmm. up, that mm-hmm. that song that was that was playing was mm-hmm. playing on the radio. Mm-hmm. And then later on, this dude came in the laundry room and was like, just stopped and was staring at me with this weird look. And I'm like, looking at him like, why are you looking at me like that? Right. And he was like, you got a glow around you. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's I'm the like, ancestors what? and spirit guys. You have, you have a lot of encounters, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. People staring at so you. I, what, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I didn't know that back then. I'm mm-hmm. just now finding out that I'm a medium. Okay, that makes sense. And apparently, a lot of the stuff I've been going through has been shamanic sickness. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it's crazy. I didn't want to run out of time, so I was like debating the whole time. No, I you're whole, fine because like, I know we interrupted you a million and one times. But <laughs> um, yeah, having a spiritual cold, I like to call them spiritual. Spiritual cold. <laughs> spiritual cold sucks. Spiritual um, vid? Yeah, no, like the spiritual vid. That's what I okay. had all this weekend and this week. Wow. So, um, you know, that's crazy. And the fact that you find out you were a medium, all of it makes sense. It comes full circle. So mm-hmm. I appreciate you sharing. Yeah, that. I found it. You know, so do I have time to tell you how I found out I'm a medium? I think we. Where's her timer? I can't see. I think we're uh, out of time. Yeah. But we are. Is okay. this the last call, or is someone else after this? No, I think we I, I think we have time for one more. Okay. Okay, we've run out of time, but please, please, please okay. give me a call next week or email me. Um, I'm very interested okay. in mediums. I, I wish I was that spiritually tapped. Yeah, or you can send us an email directly and, yeah. and we'll be able to tap in with you uh on a on a deeper level. Yeah, I've been looking for a medium anyway for one of my retreats. But we got some th- stuff okay. in the works, y'all. So <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate yes, it. And call you. us next week with some more stories. <laughs> Hope you hung up. Hey, George, before you pick the next one, I just want to throw it out there. We, we have a lot of entity experiences. Yes. <laughs> but if this is the last call, mm. all I'm saying is 
1631 mm-hmm. has an alien encounter. Okay, please. Because someone said, okay. someone just, <laughs> right, hey. shout out to Yasmin because they she's the one who said, does anybody have any experience with aliens? And Phoenix Rising said, she I'm going like, to step uh, up. Yes. Right. And I got something to say. Yes, because literally <laughs> that is the only part of, we live in Las Vegas where the men in black Live in our tunnels. Well, the aliens in our tunnels. Strip, what the aliens went to the you strip club out here. I mean, yeah, they went. To, yeah, they, they were, were at Sapphire this time. I last wish year. I was with them. It would have been lit. <laughs> right. The aliens. Yes, they the aliens. The they're over there partying. Well, the, the one who landed in the backyard was like two miles oh from my, my house. Oh my gosh, yes. that's crazy. Okay, that's, if anybody loves aliens as much as Austin and George does, <laughs> go ahead and look up um, the Sapphire. Yeah, we we covered yeah, it. Look it. We up. for sure covered it. Oh, so the call. Hello, you're in. Is this Phoenix? Hey, is this Phoenix? It is. Hey, hey Phoenix. Hi, Hi Phoenix. Hi, <laughs> and Noah. Tell your baby happy birthday. To I him will. Day. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolute. And your baby girl, oh my gosh, yo, she is so articulate. <laughs> Listen, my baby. Volume. Thank for, you so much. Uh, she's she, a sweetheart. She's 11 going on 35. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think she got a prison record, actually. It sounds like it. <laughs> it sounds, sounds like it. But yeah, I'm going to try to make it quick as ever. But so, okay, my first alien encounter, I was like 13. I had a. Uh, a door, a patio on my in my bedroom. So I walk out into it. Anyway, I'm in my bed sleep out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm up in 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 a craft. Like I see myself kind of porting up, but I can't do anything. It's almost like a sleep paralysis and mm-hmm. I'm going up. See the lights is almost stereotypical, right? I get up in there and I'm like one of a few people my turn, they strapped me on the table and it legit... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. We're moving at light speed like they did to get to you. <laughs> okay. Right, because I know time is limited, so my bad, you guys. No, you're good. And it sounds so crazy, but I literally was transported up there, right? I'm in line with one of many people. It's apparently my turn. It's like flashes. One minute I'm in line waiting, the next minute I'm literally strapped on this metal table. It's bright lights, like I'm in an operating room, right? It's tall, tall people. They're like of human figures. However, they didn't have any faces. The faces, the heads, was kind of like a diamond shape almost, but you couldn't see a face. But they're operating. They had the mask on and everything. They did something with my stomach. Legit, y'all, I wake up the next day and my belly, (laughs) right as the bikini line, there's a cut there. Uh, uh, (laughs) There's a a cut there. It's still there? (laughs) There's a cut there, yeah. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> well, that was a good one to finish up the night, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, first off, I just want to say I blame your parents for giving you a balcony at 13. <laughs> <laughs> she had a nice room with the balcony. She had her own little crib. And right. look. I didn't get a balcony till I was 40. I mean, what's the- <laughs> Wait, you guys have balconies currently? <laughs> <laughs> right. He said, that's not even a luxury I have. Yeah, like, y'all get in balcony bedrooms? Like, I'm over here sitting next to a window. Hi, oh, yep. And then on top of that, she just wants a room. But yeah. that was crazy. So you have a scar from the cut. I do. To That's this day. terrifying. Okay. Oh my to this God. Day. Never been operated right on. Never been Never operated, been operated on. and have a That's scar. That's crazy. Never. Oh my God. And have the scar. That is crazy. That's, mm-hmm. that is like, you know, all the calls we get are super <coughs> cool, but that is like, when I initially wanted to start the show, that is what I was like. Right. And no, like, I'm not saying like, wow, thank God it happened to you because it's not right. cool, but like, that was what I was wanting to hear were those stories. Right, right, right. But I, I, the question yeah. I have is, do you feel any, like, residual effects? Like, do you feel any, like, cloudiness right. or fogginess or anything later? More? Like, do you know things that you shouldn't know? Like, <laughs> I do. And I figure I'll just tell you guys that part next week. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah. I'm calling back. Hey, this is the anticipation. This is just like, uh, Tune in next week for the next season. Right. <laughs> right. The cliffhanger. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you for what a way to end off the 
the show. That's a that's a yeah. ten out of ten call. Yes, that Ooh. was. Thank you so much for sharing. I truly appreciate it, Phoenix. Oh, I I thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, One I, thing, I no, you're fine. I, I I wanted to finish off the show with just um, thank you to everybody. This has been like wildly successful. Yeah. Okay. But I want everybody to keep it cute in my comments because y'all know I ain't the two, three, or four. Um, you know, I want everybody to respect everyone. Uh, me and Austin had a conversation about adding a little bit more dialogue. It's usually just me and him listening to call after call after call. I'm a spiritualist. Sometimes we got to slow it down, okay? I had to, like, put people on timeout in my thing wow. because they're being rude. Like, don't do that. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> like, yeah, you. we want to get to all your calls, but also, like, you know. Right, like, it's a, this is a live call-in show. This is a podcast environment. And um, it's a lot, I you know, like I wanted to wear, hold on, baby. I wanted to wear my, I didn't want to wear my hat today. Okay. <laughs> I wanted to wear my hair, but I didn't want to wear a head wrap. So sometimes whenever you guys are calling in and there's a lot of spiritual energy, people calling in with different energies connected to them. Um, we have to have that break too. And I need everybody to respect that. Because right, yeah. it's, it's not it's, all about just listening to the storytelling. It's right, about, like don't be rude. It's I about don't, elaborating. It's about you know mm -hmm. talking on on the things that talking about the things that were told to us. Yeah, you know it's 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 a show for a reason. It's not just a, a dialogue. It's not a monologue. Yeah. It's not you know right. what I mean. Chattrell has it. She said it's less call center, more family oriented. Right. I love it here. Yeah, and that's yeah. what it is. We're trying to build the community and not right. Just, and if this community isn't for you, we're not going to be mad in. if you don't watch it. Right. But. I like having conversations. Yeah. How like and if we let people just call in, call in, call yeah. in, then it'd be like, oh, right, it's not really yeah, no chemistry I mean, there. If, yeah. if we just wanted, and like no, no offense, because like we do want you to call in, absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, if if we were only wanting to just go call to call to call to call, we'd probably just open up like a voicemail box. Hello, yeah. we wouldn't and even we let you call that in. Too. But please, that might actually not be like, a bad idea. <laughs> on top of this, like Miss Noah right. said, though, please, please keep it cute, y'all, because right. we are all about love and light. But I, we love the smoke too. Oh well, that's why I said earlier, I'm <laughs> it's a, a bottle of Hennessy. Too. I'm a bottle of Hennessy in Newport 100. Hey, but George got a lot of pent up over there. George will right. come at no, right. We're, but we're you all know, about smoke. So no, please. it just comes down to a point of I need everybody just to be respectful. Sometimes me mm -hmm. and him have to, and it's not even him. It'd be me, and I, I love my co-host because. He knows whenever I'm like, bro, this is a lot. So yeah. I'll just start changing the subject or talking about a little bit, some different, giving us more space in between calls because I'm a, a baby spiritualist again, mm -hmm. y'all. I got my leg case last Saturday. Yeah. So I have to be very, very careful. Shout and out, sometimes shout out to you with the initiation, looking like a brand new woman. <laughs> it's just like they be arguing, they be like yelling yeah. about like the most stupid thing. Thing though, like they were like, "You made me wait ten minutes yeah, for my call." Like, come on, like, be, what? be patient with yeah, me. We gotta be respectful for everybody. Please, please, yeah. And, and some people who like, love this show. There's people that did. They can't wait. The anticipation builds. They can't wait until it was, Friday. No, it yeah. was four people in the waiting room at what three thirty, four o'clock. Yep. I love y'all. Yeah. But, you guys you know, are quick. Like, if I don't make the live, you guys will just message me and be like, "You guys want live today?" And then somebody was like, "The CPT begin y'all every week," and I'm like, "Yeah, I do. I color people time." We all <laughs> like, hey, but listen, you know, I appreciate y'all. It's a lot of construction over here in Vegas. They're hey, building a lot the, of our houses. state flower is the construction cone. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> on, swear on everything. <laughs> because I was in back to back traffic. I said, mm -hmm. "Oh my gosh!" So I just want y'all to know: be respectful of the space. Be respectful to me and Austin and George. And um, Mr. Fresh, because he's usually here on, you yep. know, with us. Um, we do this out of the love for y'all. There's, you know, I think they think it's a pot of gold at the right. end of the these rainbow. We shows, do this because these talk we love shows ain't big our bags, y'all. We we come out the pocket for these shows. Hey, that's why we go into Target tonight. No. <laughs> tonight, I don't, I don't <laughs> know if people are gonna try to be respectful to George because yeah, George, <laughs> the respect he gets you is a little different. Not. Yeah, George's respect is on a different level. George I is think. a victim. <laughs> nah, -uh, no, 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 George no, is not no. a victim. He's, He's a villain. <laughs> Let me go ahead and tell you, George may sleep on the couch tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I think Shy got George sleeping on the couch tonight. Right, George hey, wants Mr. smoke Fresh, lemon prep. <laughs> I can afford a hotel room. 
Hey, he's I'm not sleeping on the couch. All right, now. All right, me, Aria, me, baby. I know, right. Now, don't get... Cam gonna beat your ass. Okay. I'm like, yeah, you and your little witch, witch friends. Oh, your yeah. witch That's fans. That's one of the coldest comebacks ever. I said, oh, okay. <laughs> don't... Don't get on and be on the couch or at the Aria tonight, okay? I mean, if you really want to start a party, just go <laughs> home and hand, hand Cam a broom. <laughs> so my, my, Upside my, down. My witch fan said, get us to Damn. you. <laughs> hey, hey, Chateau said, definitely respect George because I fight after his wife gets Ooh. here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Wow. Hello. That, hey, I, but I, I'm developing an army. You know, no, seriously. <laughs> I just want to give a couple shout outs to yes. some people in my chat that consistently watch the show every week. My subscribers on here, Super Chatters, um, Chytrell, Phoenix. Um, who else is it? It's, a, it's the normies. And who was the first one? FMA? Yes, FMA. FMA. FMA Thank FMA you so much. All my patrons that are in here, everyone, uh, Yasmin. Um, it's some names that I see in here every week, and I'm like, yo, I appreciate y'all for real, for real. Y'all be waiting on me to get on here. I love y'all. They down. be sitting. They're, they're sitting there. Yep. No. They like, yeah, they be looking at the clock. They be like, or everything. Mm. They be like, um, it's six oh one. Yeah, but just yeah. know y'all, y'all, y'all be anticipating us, and we anticipate y'all yes. too. Yes. Like this yeah. is just as amazing for us. Like yeah. we said, we, we look don't, forward to this. We don't make week. a million dollars off of this <laughs> no, show. No, we just I like y'all a lot, and we. But love... it's just fun vibing with y'all. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah. fun vibe. I wouldn't tell anybody, but there'd be signs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But, uh, yeah, okay. So. We do got the 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 case of eight water giveaway. I know. Yes. Um, so I just wanted to touch base so I can make sure that you know the listeners, uh, somebody, some lucky person gets mm -hmm. that case. Yes. And I have made a selection. Ooh. Oh, yes. Wow. Last time we had to yeah. let him for a minute. <laughs> With the drum roll, that case got to go to Phoenix Rising. Period. <laughs> All I'm saying is, anytime was... you get abducted by aliens, right? Get I was gonna say, if you got to get that case. Do. That's the least I could do. I can't. Yes. You know. Phoenix, go ahead and uh, email me at bj at stickypawstudios dot com and uh, with your name and your address, and I will make sure the good people over at Ape Water get yes. that. Yeah. Shout out to shout out to Ape Water. Shout out to Phoenix. Shout out to Amazing Tribe. Yes, you are here every week. Um, Haitian goddess. I, I'll be look. I'll be reading these comments. I can't speak on it because um, I don't want to be rude. But I see y'all in the comments supporting and being here every week. Shout out to y'all. I want to do something different though. Just one more thing. Mm -hmm. So we we just gave away the case of water to Phoenix Rising. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what I want to do. This is me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay for shy. Oh yes. To get a ten card reading. Okay. Wow. Look at that. So, now, now, does that include like? Does she get to have George also on the Zoom call, like emotional <laughs> support? Or I mean, Shy, you want a reading? He has volunteered to pay for my services for you, baby girl. So if you would love, and this, these are new services. These ain't these ain't these ain't the spiritualist services. These is the newly initiated services. So they're a little bit more powerful <laughs> than the previous services. I'm just saying. Boom. That was really nice. Thank you, Mister Fresh. I just Mr. Fresh listen, being man. fresh. We, I love our people, and our people love us. So I you know, that's beautiful. You show love, they show love back. <laughs> Well, I just have something to say. Uh -oh. Yes, baby. About George. Uh-oh. <laughs> About oh, George. Uh -oh. uh, our, our, uh, one of our engineer, George, just popped his head because he heard that. Uh-oh. What you got to say about George? The first thing, I know you guys be fangirling, but I think, I just think in this tiny brain of mine that he has, like, a wife or a girlfriend. Yeah, they know. They don't they, care. Listen, <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was going to go so different. I thought, I thought she was about to be like, I know you guys be fangirling, but he, he ain't, he he ain't, ain't all that in person. Right. I, 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 I swear I'm not. Listen, listen, she listen. She's watching I'm right here now. for. <laughs> I'm here for a good time, not to slender people, because I already do that at school. Um, um, I, I spend most of my free time slandering my mom and my dad and my brother. <laughs> and That's my nice. friends, too. Yeah, she's me. That's why I'm saying I'll be trying to be nice on here. I'm just the grown version of let my me be, child. Let me be grown up. Let me be more mature. Yeah, yes, I'm mature yes. when I get around like other mature said, people. Thank but you. if I'm around like childish people, I'm going to be like, well, we appreciate you stank. too. We appreciate you. <laughs> for I, Thank you, daughter, for accompanying me tonight and being hey. my date. That's mm. awesome. I appreciate it. I'm coming it. next week. No. I, 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 I don't <laughs> know about all that. She but. invited herself. She said, <laughs> no, I'm we, coming. We're leaving Chetty Kathy at home. Yes. She'll, be in the, uh, she'll be in the comments. Uh, oh, like, like Mr. Unknown. Yeah. Yes. You know what I just realized? Uh, there's a full moon tomorrow. Ooh. Yes. Or wait, is it the full moon or is it the Yes, yeah, it's the full moon. 
Uh, full because moon it's calendar. a quarter. It's a so quarter the next full moon will be on Saturday, February 24th at 7.30 a.m. Eastern. Okay. And it's so also a portal day, y'all. Right, Tomorrow is 7.30 a.m.? Yes. So, so 4.30 that That's going to be the, the, where the Excuse moon me. is the highest. Yeah. Um, or the brightest and the biggest and the most, like it's 100%. Um, also, tomorrow is a portal day. Tomorrow is 2 24, 2024. So make sure you got your manifestations, Uh-oh. high vibrations, and everything else put together. So, what do, I, what do I do tomorrow? What you want? Well, the first thing is you, you got to tap in with Noah so you can get your manifestation journal. Mm-hmm. Manifestation journal. I already yeah, journal. Well, you as got it the is. But, but she has she the has art the of the having e-book. everything. Listen, man, you got to tap. <laughs> not him, not even knowing I'm a self proclaimed. Um, author. <laughs> what can't you do? George, what can, where, where can people find you though? You can find me at Mr. George underscore George. Oh my God. Carmona. Uh-oh. Oh, she says she's Boom. your biggest fan and she's so appreciative of the reading. Please email me. My email is in a, um, the description of this video. Email me so we can get together and I can do yes. your oh, reading. Yeah. I forgot the second thing that I was about to say about George. We'll save it for we'll next week. For I promise week. you. Put it in the comments. <laughs> I promise <laughs> you. I got you. <laughs> No, I was Put it in the comments, boo. I don't have my All right, phone right Chatty now. Chatty This is parenting. Where right can here. we? Live. Where can we find you yeah, at, George? George. Love oh, you, yeah, Dad. No, Maxie. I said I'm Mr. George uh, Carmona. Boom. Okay. There's an I underscore after mine. Mr. and after George. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm popular. I'll pop up. Yeah, All right, he fans will is pop coming up. next week. I'm his manager. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, it's coming. I just realized uh, you're gonna ask me next. Where can you find me? Yeah. Um, here, Instagram, TikTok. But I just realized my um at is the black cauldron the black cauldron one 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 on yes. Instagram? So we'll yes. update that because I didn't realize. What it. about Facebook though? Because you, I know you got a Facebook page. Man, so we're trying to grow that. So. Uh, yeah, he's he's helping me with that because I'm, I'm baby, helping. I'm raggedly on Facebook. What's and the Instagram. Facebook? Is it the black cauldron? Yes, yeah, the, black the black cauldron, cauldron. just so like that. Tapping y'all, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, you know, you don't just got to go to TikTok. You don't just got to come to YouTube. You know, <laughs> we said. we trying to grow an army over here. George misspelled mine too. That's okay. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> And uh, I said, Max is the maturest in the room. You're probably right because she is. She really is. Yeah, but Where you guys, find, you, see you me got at your home. stuff up there as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you find me at Alvarez Prod LV. I have another show, Content Junkies. I also do stuff here. I produce a lot of shows like George does. Um, but you can also check out some of our sponsors for the show, like PuffySlippers.com. P u f f i e Slippers.com. Use code <coughs> Bizarre for fifteen percent off everything. Also. Speaking of 15% off everything, right now the merch store has 15% off everything until the 26th. Mm-hmm. So you can find that in the link uh, in the description of our channel on Bizarre Junkies. That is until February 26th. So that's mm-hmm. 15% off everything. Yep. And by the time the next show comes on, hopefully, yeah, we're going to have gonna, a we, merch. We need to have a Black Cauldron merch store and then a Cauldron mm-hmm. I've already made store. it. I don't know how to work it. Okay. But okay. now we'll, I got you. We'll, we'll, we'll link. We'll link. I'm also going to have Austin uh, make the... Here for the thrill, not the real. Them that t-shirts are coming soon, y'all. That Here was for the real thrill. good. Here Them for... t-shirts is coming tonight. <laughs> awesome. We'll put them on the store. Here yeah. for the thrill, not the real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but thank you so much to everybody watching. Please consider becoming a member to both myself and to the Black Cauldron. You get access to special content. You also get access to content early. Yes. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if your package is. is the cheapest one is the same as mine, which is ninety nine cents a month. I have to be a no member. idea. We'll, I know we'll that people look. bought it, and I love y'all. You have ten members it. already. Yeah, you, you, I was like, yeah, where did you're that already come there. From? <laughs> yeah, so um, but you got nine. I think I'm one. Uh-huh. That's Damn, okay. so he doesn't count. But <laughs> I mean, I do. It's, I still pay for it. We still pay for it. It's <laughs> but uh, yeah, for ninety nine cents a month, you can become a member of the channel. There is special content that you won't be able to see ever unless you become a member. Mm-hmm. Uh, like the interview, the full interviews from our ghost hunt that we did back in October. Um, but yeah, thank you again to Miss Black Cauldron. The show has yes. been uh, has been incredible. Thank you so much to George. George and I got here at uh. 7.45, 8 o'clock this morning. Yeah, We've been here all day. I don't day. know why y'all do that to y'all Hey, stuff's got to get done. Okay, you know If what? we don't get it done, it's not going to get done. Facts. All right, I'm dragging y'all out the studio with me. Oh, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. We're, we're, leaving, <laughs> we're leaving when this show's over. Uh, Taco Bell is calling my name. We are working on that. I'm trying to get us We need to here. work on it expeditiously, yeah, sir. What? Cleansing, cleansing the, the studio. studio. Yeah, oh, my god. I want to just cleanse it and be like, all right, we cleanse it. I'm not going to push it off. I'm going to just come in... Nah, like he, I'm he smoking a cigarette, that. but I'm really going to no, be smoking no, no. sage. I need the content, <laughs> man. People want to see us he, doing nah, it. Nah, you like that gargoyle on your neck like this. That's okay. No, I don't like You that. like your back hurting when you walk out of here? <laughs> that's that's not because of that, though. It's because I got <laughs> ran into it 45 miles an hour. <laughs> but uh, Thank you so much, yes. Phoenix. We will come back to y'all next week. Yep. Hopefully, we'll have the store, the merch up, and everything else yes. for my channel. 
Um, but yeah. Yeah. I love so thank you so much too. to everybody. Mm-hmm. And until next time, stay bizarre. Caller, you're on the air. Threatened. I felt unwelcome, and it was a death. And so then I went to my pastor, and I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know. But I do have something that's just both. So I've always had a lot of things happen to me all my life. So I'm going to... Thank you.